Hi guys, Alex here. Welcome back to Shook After Dark for our very special Sunday stream. And I am super excited. Today is Mother's Day. So I just wanted to wish Happy Mother's Day to all of my viewers out there that are mothers. And today we're going to be taking a look at a couple of videos. We're going to go over some drama tonight. We have some serious drama going on, some emails. I'm sure a lot of you guys have seen it by now, but we'll definitely go through that. I mean, who's telling the truth here? It's hard to really tell. I will go ahead and leave some timestamps down below. Uh, for those of you that are watching on the replay, we'll get into some Amberlynn Lullaby as well as Slayton Tabloids later on in the video. I definitely want to catch up with Jay Bay as well because she's America's Next Top Girl. I'm, I'm just putting that out there. Anyways, welcome in everyone. How are you guys doing tonight for our very special live stream? I hope you guys are doing well. I hope you guys had a fabulous Mother's Day. Um, finally made a live. Well, welcome in Kiki. First time, first time. We got a couple of new shook mojis um, available for you guys. <laughs> available for members as well as new members badges. Um, the emojis, I believe there's a troll. Somebody um, highly, highly requested a troll shook emoji. So we have a troll shook emoji. Uh, we also have, can I see them? We also have Yikes on Bikes, which was also requested. And yeah, <laughs> emoji. <laughs> we also have an emoji emoji, which is kind of amazing. And then the new members badges are, we have one for new girls, new girlies. As well as, you know, if you are over six months, then you are queen. Jackie Howard, thank you for being a member for five months. Hello, how are you doing? Yes, love the shook emoji yikes on bikes. Your ears look great. Alex, our edgy girl. Thanks. So I did get in the half. This is like a half. I don't even know. Like the size is 12 millimeter. I like millimeters better. I just don't get the other sizes, but yeah. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> what did you guys do for Mother's Day? Did you guys have fun? You know, I did what I usually do, which is go to my grandma's and eat. So I had some really delicious food, including steak and salad and sweet potato and some desserts as well. It's really good. I love me a good steak moment. I love I hate the fuzzies. <laughs> Just got a kitten, a black cat named Wednesday. Oh my gosh, that's so cute, Victoria. Congratulations on your new addition. You love it when I hit the welcome button? You want a welcome button? Welcome. Welcome. I think the members are going to get a lot of use out of the troll emoji. <laughs> troll moment, troll moment. Law, law. I think the law is my favorite emoji. Moonface Pandu, thank you for being a member for seven months, Queen. Happy Mother's Day to you as well, Moonface. Thank you so much for everybody out there. Now, me, I'm not a mother, but, <laughs> you know, starting brain surgery school today. Oh, my gosh. Good luck on that. You're going to need it. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> just kidding. Troll, troll, troll. <laughs> Love that. I think my favorite sound bite is this one. No, Chantal, sorry. Sorry. No, Chantal, sorry. Sorry. I took your man. Like, I know I took your man, but sorry. <laughs> if it's any consolation, sorry. I'll let you have this one. You know what? Actually, uh, De Debbie's the goat for saving our queen from the evil natter. He's like a, a movie character villain, honestly, at this point. Like, how do you get that out of control? Anyways, you're ready for the tea. T T T T T. So did, have you guys been following this email situation? Like, I was honestly shook. So Missy Moo is definitely on the radar, guys, for sure. Be on the lookout for Missy Moo. I know she has caused 
a lot of drama lately. What was the last thing? So she came out and we talked about the we talked about this on Girl Talk on Thursday. No, Wednesday. Wednesday. So Missy Moo had actually come out and she had said that uh, she had come out and said that their relationship was basically not there was trouble in paradise. It wasn't, you know, this completely peaches and peaches and cream relationship between Salah and Chantal. And, you know, Salah had a lot of things to say about her impulsivity and it was causing rifts in their relationship. And, you know, I believe that 100 <laughs> percent. But, you know, Missy came back with some more drama, basically sharing this email. Where did it go? Did she delete it from the community, Tom? Or was it in a video? Well, I guess we're just going to have to go somewhere else to find it. I'm sure, like, just saying has it or something. But... What is it? Gorlick? I think Gorlick Bread has it. Okay, here it is. She deleted the community tab post. Anyways, this is from Gorlick's channel. Here's the email that she alleges that Foodie Beauty sent. Now, getting into it, Foodie Beauty has already denied these allegations. So let me just put that out there first. Foodie has denied the allegations. Welcome, Jessica Messica. <laughs> Here to cause a little more drama. Oh, it's in Messica's video from last night. Okay. That's a little hard for me to read, but let me just get a little bit closer to you guys. So the email says, just wanted to let you know what a big piece of trash your daughter Marissa is. So this is allegedly Foodie Beauty emailing Missy Moo's mom. She is on YouTube trying to create anonymous accounts and post people's real life information as far as marriage, home, employment, and family. You need to speak with her immediately and tell her to get off of YouTube and stop uh, spreading private information about other people's families since you, your husband, and your grandkids and your granddaughter, your granddaughter's private information has all been doxxed on a public platform for millions to see. Mm -mm 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 -mm. So this is allegedly Foodie. What do you guys think? Do you think that that email was sent from Foodie? Let's go ahead and do a poll. I'm sure a lot of you guys have been like seeing the debate this weekend in regards to this email who sent it let's just say who sent it and it's going to be missy moo to herself uh foodie beauty sent it or third option is going to be a troll because you guys know a lot of the times it ends up being like just a random outside influence we don't even know so i'm going to put that as an option as well a troll <laughs> T -t 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 -t. <laughs> welcome in alex fellow gay alex welcome yeah i feel like you know the name out so i was named like just alex it's kind of like a gayish name you know what do they call it? gender neutral gender neutrality you think Foodie said it? She's as vicious as we know. Yeah. So previously there was an email controversy. T and Sass actually got an email. And that sounded a lot like Foodie. It's It has to do with her community tabs. And we know the way that she writes. And we know the way that her brain works. And it just sounds like her. I mean, she has been known to do this kind of thing in the past. I believe Shannon actually outed her um, in regards to this woman that was talking a lot of trash about Foodie in the past. And Chantal did reach out to her family, and this was in the past. I believe it was the woman that went to Kiwi Farms. Do you guys remember that? That was, a, that was like 2017 or 18. It was before my time even. I didn't follow Foodie till 2019. But there was this woman that new foodie in her private life like years ago and she came on to the farms and started uh spilling tea and shit <laughs> and so Chantal you know she threatened to call CPS on her all sorts of stuff right 
lady way. What happened? Hi, girls. Hi, mud flap. How are you doing? What am I drinking? <laughs> this is a Mio in a water bottle. I'm trying to like not. Okay. So I keep seeing these shorts come up that have like, you're supposed to stay away from certain dyes or whatever, like red 40 is supposed to be really bad. Does anyone know anything about that? Should I stop drinking red 40? It's in like Gatorade. That's the only thing I think it's in that I drink Gatorade. Or is that just for kids? I don't know. Chantal's trying too hard to, de to deny it, which makes her seem guilty. Just say, no, I didn't send it and move on. Yeah, that would make a little bit more sense. We can go ahead and take a look at her community tab response here. Um, she came on in a live stream and defended her name. She trashed Missy Moo. There's been like a lot of back and forth between her and Missy Moo lately. I feel like Missy, you know, I've got my eye on her for like America's Next Top Girl. Purple drank. Does anyone remember the drank? There was a drink. It was called drank and it was so good. It was like a relaxing beverage. We had it in our dorm. So back in the day. So these are foodies receipts. Here are my receipts. This is from an email I sent to my new YouTube manager. So it seems like she kicked the old manager to the curb. And now she is, she's got this new manager, right? So big, beautiful M-E-E. -E. Is that the same email? M-E-E. -E. Yes. Okay, so it appears to be the same. But I don't know. I mean, when it comes to different people's email applications, it's going to look a little bit different, right? It's not going to look exactly the same in everybody's email password because we know Foodie has Android, right? So this is what Android looks like. Yeah, whatever. Like, <laughs> I don't think this really proves anything. The email from a certain clout chasing liar has my full name in the email. And when I send emails from this account, it says Foodie Beauty and not Chantel Sellel. So this does say Chantal Sellel. Hmm. So that's her quote unquote proof. I mean, nice Photoshop work though, she says of Missy's. If only whomever did this could use the time, you know, to get a life instead of making defamatory content. <laughs> defamatory content. And yeah, so she is, I feel like this was like a humble flex from her. I feel like this, it wasn't even really, she knew that this wasn't the proof that was necessary in order to clear her name. Like this doesn't really clear her name. It's still kind of out there. People thinking that she is doing this. I think that this was some sort of like humble brag or like underhanded brag of her speaking to this new YouTube manager. And she wanted everybody to know that I'm speaking to this new manager and you guys better watch out. Um, namely French fried girl, Missy Moo, her biggest adversaries right now. Um, so I think that's kind of what she wanted to portray with this community tab post. Not really the fact that this flimsy proof because she knows nobody's going to believe it. And it's just not, it wouldn't be admissible in a court of law. And this is a court of law. Just kidding. <laughs> okay, so let's let's go ahead and end this poll. Who sent it? 27% say that Missy Moo sent it to herself. 53% say that Foodie Beauty sent it. And 20% say that it was simply some sort of like troll or outside force. Outside forces. <laughs> As if this is like some kind of, I don't even know. That doesn't mean anything. You can change a display name. Yeah, absolutely. So she could go ahead and just change the display name to Foodie. Um, you could do that in like a couple of minutes and send an email. Supposedly this was from five days ago that she sent this one. But yeah, you could change your name at literally any time. I mean, we, sh we know... We know 100% she knows how to change a name. Like, give me a break, right? She knows exactly how to change a name. <laughs> We've seen her do it way too many times. Way too many times. Foodie has become so boring. Her beezers are jumping in the ring, <laughs> trying to take Foodie's spot. <laughs> I feel like it's become... it's 
we're in such a strange situation right now in the community. I mean, what's more fun is the outside forces, right? Uh, Destiny. Destiny came out. And oh, speaking of Destiny, we have some tea, 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 tea from Amber that I need to share with you guys. Red alert, red alert. But we're getting a lot more entertainment from, you know, the side characters. I don't know if I would consider Missy Moo a side character, but she's been bringing some interesting tea. I guess ex-friends. I don't know. We could say that. Ex-friends. I do find it funny that these girls, like, no matter where they go, there are people that are willing to come out of the woodwork. Missy Moo, um, Shannon, for example, this woman from years ago that went on the farms. All these people have come forward. Roman L. Roman. There's countless people coming forward to speak out about these women in their real lives. We have Destiny as well. Becky has thrown like her little, her little bits and pieces, nothing too drastic. I just feel like, I feel like she bullied her into silence. And I think that that's what, what Amber Lynn is trying to do with Destiny right now. Let's go ahead and take a look at this. Instagram question. I got this from Oh Lordy, it's Jordy over on over on the Twitter. Hold on, give me one second, guy. Red alert, red alert. Can we talk about how the curtains in the luxury penthouse are two different colors? Do you think that that was on purpose or what? Okay, let's head on over to Jordy's Twitter. Because he posted the tea. I guess it's on Amber's Instagram, but I can't even be bothered to go to Amber's Instagram. <laughs> okay. Here's the question. This is like the biggest tea, I guess you could say, that we have gotten. Let me just take a screenshot so we can so we can get really get in there, you know, blow it up and stuff like that. So somebody asked Amber, how do you feel about Destiny's betrayal? Yikes on bags. Where's part two? Destiny. I want part two now. I want part two now. So how she feels about Destiny's betrayal. Her wanting to share her side of the story when I've never shared mine is weird and makes me regret ever being with her. I stuck up for her years after the breakup was there for her. Yeah, because you were still in love with her and we're trying to buy her love back. Like, girl, was there for her, held on to her secrets, let her walk all over me and use me. So that's interesting. I mean, she's kind of throwing her under the bus here as well. I would definitely, if this was a video, I would say Amber throws Destiny under the bus. No, <laughs> maybe. Remember when that was like a huge thing? Amber throws Becky under the bus. Like, I feel like everyone did a video titled that at one point. That was just one of my favorite sayings. But she did throw Becky under the bus countless times. Do we need to bring up the receipt? I let her use me, walk all over me, and I regret every second of it. So how do you think she used her? Uh, we know that Amber sent Destiny plenty of money, but that was out of her own free will. Um, she never had, like, she. it's not like Destiny had access to her bank account. Destiny didn't have access to your bank account, and you liked it. Anything to get Destiny's attention. Anything to get Destiny's attention. I've never spilled tea on her and I wouldn't, not even when repeatedly begged during the live stream era. I doubt that anyone was like begging her to spill tea on, on Destiny. I mean, she claims to have this like extreme tea. And that's what I was thinking. We did discuss her recent Instagram Q&A. Now, this was one of the more juicier ones where Amber, it almost seemed as though Amber was threatening Destiny into silence. And we saw the same thing with Becky, where wifey came forward and was like, we have something on you. Okay, so you better shut your mouth because we got something on you. That's the same thing she did to Becky. She's doing the same thing to Destiny. Not in this post, but in a previous post, she said, I have scolding, scolding hot tea, but I would never share it, blah, blah, blah. 
maybe it is just like, you know, if it comes to that, I'll share it. I don't know. It just feels like she's start trying to silence destiny. You know, for someone who complains about being silenced so much, she's silencing destiny. And even now, while she's airing personal things about me, it's not going to happen. I'm not that kind of person. I don't betray people no matter what. My heart always comes from a good place and it's going to stay there regardless of what happens. I'd rather look bad. I feel like the Amber, mm, I'd rather look bad. I want nothing to do with her and I don't want to speak to her. I've moved on and I've been moved on for years now. So we know that it took her a couple of years. I mean, this tea, I don't think that anything that Destiny says or even has is going to be like earth shattering. Like I'm still going to watch because I'm here for the messy mess mess. And I think it will probably be interesting, but I don't think that Destiny is going to have anything that is earth shattering. What do you guys think? Should we do like a poll? Destiny's tea. Cold. Something hot is coming. Like, <laughs> let's just have those two options and that's it. I'm getting a little bit tired of waiting for Destiny. I mean, she was supposed to do a girlfriend tag. Oh, if Destiny's listening or watching, she should title her video, her Meet My Girlfriend. Title it Meet My Girl Friend. I just feel like that would be hilarious. Just putting that out there, but I'm getting a little annoyed, like waiting for Destiny. Where is she? <sighs> wifey wouldn't talk. Shh. Amber might roll. Oh, oh, you think that wifey would come? Do you think that wifey, if they were to happen to break up, would wifey? I think wifey would just disappear like into thin air <laughs> if they broke up. Uh, because she won't even show her face. So, but wouldn't that be interesting if wifey, like what a turn of events it would be if wifey came on and was like, I'm going to spill the tea. <laughs> it was not what I was like expecting, but that would be pretty interesting. Was Amber silenced or silent? I think she's just silent. Nobody can silence Amber. I mean, we know that. Nobody can silence her. Nobody has her passwords. Nobody, you know, you know what I mean? Like, you can say whatever you want. Push back. I hate when people complain about, like, they're silencing me. They're silencing me. It's like, push back to what you said is not being silenced. Like, this is online discourse. You know, if you were, like, taken off of Twitter or whatever and banned for eternity... I could see then, you know, saying that you're being silenced, but just receiving negativity for whatever take it is, that's not being silenced. That's just a discussion, baby boo. It's final assessment season oh, over in Australia. Yeah, so people do have finals here in America as well. I don't know if that's already over, but finals. I think for most people it's like over already, but... I don't think I could ever, like, take a test again. Like, blah, blah. although I do want to go to school. So I guess I'm going to have to. But, yeah. You firmly believe there is actually no real tea from either side. Thank you, Julianne. So, you know, Amber did, like, vlog so much of her life back then that we saw pretty much everything that was going on. What could Destiny possibly have that we don't know at least rumblings about, like, what did Amber do? I, she could barely go anywhere, even at that time. I mean, remember the seatbelt didn't fit her. So what was she doing? Running around all weekend long, like, snorting cola and getting with other women? Like, no. <laughs> There's just no way. <laughs> And what if, and Destiny, like, what could the scolding hot tea on Destiny even be? Um, I don't know. I mean, maybe that she cheated, but like, we know she's a cheater. We already know that Destiny cheated multiple times, and Dana was her karma, her bad karma. Just passed your last exam. Oh, good for you, girly. Choreographing dances. 
Yeah, I do like that we got that moment, Foodie's Drain Rat. <laughs> that name, though. The fact that we now know that moment um, in the Walmart was kind of worth watching the video for. And I do notice that a lot of people are starting to call Amber Pookie, which I can't get enough of. <laughs> Pooky. Okay, so let's go ahead and end our poll there. Destiny's Tea, 69% say that it's cold, and 31% say that something hot is coming. I guess we'll see. I also feel like there is, like, the drama that we had with Natter and Foodie, like, back in the day. It's like the bar has has risen so high that it's kind of hard to surpass that. Like, it's almost like we've seen the craziness. We've seen, um, we've seen like the Jerry Springer stuff, but, uh, now it's like Maury, you know, now it's like Maury, but we, we already seen Jerry Springer. Now it's like Maury. Does that make sense? Because Maury's still dramatic, but it's not like as wild as Jerry Springer. Rip Jerry Springer, by the way. Pookie. <laughs> Do we need a pookie emoji? You know, I was going to make more emojis, but they only let me... You're only allowed to do... Well, the more members you have, the more emojis you can do. So I maxed out my emojis. I wish they would let you do like a few more. No matter what, like, I need more emojis. Her 15 minutes came and went... Who, Destiny? <laughs> Your girlfriend got blocked for calling her Pookie. Amber blocked you on Instagram for calling her Pookie. Oh my gosh, everybody's getting blocked. Yeah, the CPAP rescue. Like, how do you top the CPAP rescue? Like, there's just, that's not going to happen. And I mean, the tea that's going on right now in regards to Foodie, I guess just like the rumor and speculation that's going around regarding her. It's pretty interesting. I mean, with this new place, let's take a little second to take a look at this new place real quick. New places. Is that on the couples channel? I haven't really paid attention to the couples channel. Let's just. Okay, so here's the new place, right? They finally got windows, guys. <laughs> Remember Foodie like hated windows, but now they have windows all over. Those are some pretty decent windows. I mean, lots of natural light. I mean, they're huge. They're big. <laughs> pretty decent. Doesn't even cut it. These are some huge windows, guys. Where's our girl going to do her mukbang? <laughs> I guess we'll take a look at one of her new mukbangs. I don't know which one's best you wonder where their income is coming from so that's what I was thinking like can she afford this place I think it has come out that the rent is only like 950 US dollars so I mean for a beach place that's like a steal if I could find a place on the beach for 950 like I'd be there today well not a beach where it's cold in the winter but a beach where it's temperate all year long. Because I'm sure like if you live in the far, e not far east, the the east United States, it would be boring like in the winter. There's like nothing there if you live at the beach. Seaside mukbang. Yes, love a good seaside mukbang. I want to talk about their kitchen though. Is she going to do like a fully furnished tour or are we just SOL? A huge kitchen. I feel like the, I'm not coming for her, but I'm just coming for the people who design this. Like, why is that all the cabinet space they get? A big kid. Yeah, 950 US, not KD. 950 KD would be like a shit ton, I think. Or is it? I don't know. <laughs> Isn't it like times three or something? So this is their kitchen. I just found it to be a little bit different. You know what I mean? And there's a drain on the floor. I just found it to be a little bit different. I mean, but people told me like, it almost looks like the back rooms. You know, the back rooms. <laughs> she doesn't cook anything. She cooked though, guys. <laughs> 
Her place is better than you, but I live in the city. Oh, nice. What city? Till the fi- till the flies move in again. So that was what Missy Moo said was kind of a point of contention were these flies. And it just made me wonder, like, that was one of the reasons they had to leave the old place because it was just so annoying with the flies. And I, I get that. Like, one time I went to a rehab and there was, like, flies everywhere. And, you know, when you're... Never mind. Let's not even go down there. Let's not even go down that path. But, uh... There was a really bad fly problem in their previous apartment. So now they're living here and I guess the flies aren't as bad or like, I just wonder, was it foodie that brought the flies or were the flies already there? Right. That's just what I wonder. Why is the floor on the walls? (laughs) I'm just not liking the color like this. It does look like a sauna or you know what? Growing up, um, my house the house that I grew up in had like a cedar closet. Do you guys know what that is? It like, it smells really good. And like, it just makes your coats smell like cedar ish. This is, this reminds me of the cedar closet. That's just kind of what it looks like. (laughs) The flies are hiding in her hijab. Okay. What else? And then we got this main room. Now this is pretty cool. I'm not going to lie. I mean, having that whole, it would be cooler if they were higher up and then they had this big window that you could see out, but it's cool. Nonetheless, I'm not going to lie. Got to give her credit where it's due. Um, I like that with big window right there. It's pretty cool. Um, you just got to wonder about the privacy, you know, like what if someone is in this tower behind them with binoculars? You can never be too careful, <laughs> especially being a famous celebrity. Remember how they got uh, Justin Bieber and Bora Bora? He was completely nude and the paparazzi got him even from so far away. Now that's wrong. That's wrong. The color is giving chain smoking. <laughs> Are they allowed to smoke in the, in these? So Foodie said that like the reason um like she's able to move into this place because she's married and that means the marriage is like 100% legit, 100% 0%. Not very homey looking. It has like a it just doesn't have like a style, right? You would think with the windows they would go for like a more modern look, but then you look at the kitchen and it's like where's the cabinets? I don't know. You know, like this looks like it would be more modern. More modern. She's still smoking. Should we take a look at the newest video? Um, I'm not sure which ones I want to react to tonight. Uh I'm sure we'll get to our Amberlynn lullaby later on in the video. But was there a new video today? Cooking dinner. Oh, is that the newest one? Cooking dinner. She's trolling again. The spicy noodles. I kind of want to see her eat a little bit of this spicy noodle. Let's not even watch the whole thing. Let's just watch a little bit. And then I want kind of I kind of want to rip into this grocery haul. How about it, guys? Yeah, let's start there. We'll rip into this grocery haul. <laughs> a lot of people are saying that her place looks like Soviet. I see that in the comment section. Soviet block housing. Yeah. Do you guys watch uh, No Fuckers? <laughs> he does like that. I, he he used to do like Soviet stuff. Now he had to leave Russia because of the war. And, you know, this was a Russian YouTuber. He had to leave Russia because of the war because YouTube uh, ceased all ads in Russia because of the war, because of like the sanctions and stuff. So he like had to leave. Pretty scary. Okay, let's get into this grocery haul. I want to rip into it. I really just want to rip into it. Hi, guys. You're glad you haven't watched these yet? Lady, welcome. Not many people did. I mean, Foodie's views continue to slide a little bit. Not gonna lie. So here is her grocery haul, y'all. 
Is that cheddar cheese in a bottle? Lots of cheese. So I see her going down kind of like the Jen route. Like, I'm not going to lie. It does remind me of Jen. Her obsession with cheese lately has been very Jen. Welcome back to another video. So in this video, uh, we thought we would just do a little grocery haul for you. Some of this is from the actual store. And some... Mozza mozzarella cheese. What kind of cheese? I really want to know what kind of cheese this is. Cheese sque squeeze. What? It's cheddar cheese squeeze. Girl, you do not need that. Period. You don't need that. I don't need it. Um, cheesy Doritos, mozzarella, like, ooh. Some of it is from online store. They were having a good online sale, so we got a few things from there. So the total price for this haul here at the actual grocery store was 25 dollars 650 fills. I'll put it. What was it? 25 KD. So the total price for this haul here at the actual grocery store was 25 KD. Six. What's 25 KD? 25 KD in US dollars. 25 KD in US dollars. Here's what I found. Um. Like 81, $80. <laughs> Turkey leg. Thank you for the super chat. Eggs. Do you want a sound bite? I think you do. Eggs. 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 <laughs> Thank you, turkey leg. I like a good turkey leg. You know what I mean? Medieval times or um, the Renaissance Fair or Disney. One of those turkey legs. It always looks so caveman-ish, but I like that. CC Wolf Cat, thank you uh, for the super sticker. <laughs> Welcome in, CC. More than one of everything seems excessive. 150 fills. I'll put a conversion yeah. somewhere here for you. The online store was popcorn? close to 10 KD. So total around 35 KD for everything. Oh, okay. She shows it. 115. Yeah. All right. So these. The 25 was 80, but. Yeah, so I wasn't wrong. <laughs> Popcorn. I love these. <laughs> these are like corn snacks. I'll show you guys in another video. But they're really good. They're like kind of sweet and salty corn sticks. And, and there's chocolate right there. They're really yummy. Uh, we have here lasagna noodles. I'm going to be doing a lasagna. So stay tuned for that. We have here some sponges for dishes. Okay, a lasagna moment. Some mozzarella cheese shredded mozzarella cheese what's with the cheese like does she have any plan for that shredded mozzarella like or did you just buy it so that you could you know fist it into your mouth um you know what i used to do back in the day like me and my sister <laughs> this was when i was a kid so give me a break but me and my sister would take a plate a paper plate and just spread cheese on it and then you put it in the microwave and then it all sticks together and you've got this big thing of cheese that you can like flap around <laughs> these are Salah's favorite snacks these wafer kind of cookies with hazelnut in the center and oh they're for Salah I bet you those are good with the hazelnut in the middle it's like a Ferrero Rocher kind of flavor uh, covered in chocolate we have some tang I have not had tang since being a kid so this is mango fortified tang with a mango flavor I'll be trying that I don't know what it is about tang but I used to have that growing up. It just is, I don't know how to say this, like, unproblematically, but, like, it's a poor people thing. And, yeah, I used to drink it, too, but, yeah. We have some canned mushrooms. Salah really likes that in the um, omelets I make. And we have three containers of salt. We are out of salt. We I just can't get over the cheddar cheese spread in a freaking like ketchup container of cheese, a ketchup container of cheese. Have some craft cheddar cheese spread in the squeezable bottle. We have here Doritos. This was a good Yeah, where's the food? Like this is a grocery haul. <laughs> this is not a grocery haul, this is a snack haul. Yeah, I mean what 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 food did she get besides bread? And maybe some mozzarella cheese like 
offer, you get three bags. You get one free. And this is the nacho cheese flavor. Three bags. And that's the family's eyes. Doll. I have sliced bread. This is my first time buying sliced bread in Kuwait. Normally we have pita bread. So this is sliced white bread. And we have some potato bun. As if we haven't seen a roll of bread. <laughs> As if we haven't seen a roll of bread before, girl. Like hamburger type buns. Four of those. All right. And we... Okay, here's some actual food, guys. <laughs> also have here some deli meat so this is mortadella they the guy at the counter let us try more cheese what is it with the the cheese ex, the cheese um just she's obsessed the cheese obsession the different kinds so this is actually chicken mortadella we got half kg and we have some beef mortadella half kg of that as well for sandwiches and we have some deli cheese I don't really know what kind. It's kind of like a Swiss. What is that? It looks like aged. Type of cheese, I guess. <laughs> it's a stronger cheese. And we have some halloum. Uh, we have some cream, containers of thick cream. Yeah, buy three, get one free. <laughs> I've seen that before. They just try to get you. They just try to get you. You only need one. But then you see this buy. Oh, I could just buy three and I get a free one. Like, I can't say no to free. You can. We have some fresh uh, minced beef here. Minced beef. We have some butter, unsalted butter. We have some labna. Is that cheese? And some. What is that? <laughs> is that another dairy product? We have some labna. What? And some sage bread. All right, so the online order finally arrived. We have some Okay, here she got more, guys. Here's some uh, strawberries, fresh peppers, a lot of onions. That's a lot of onions. Um, frozen pizzas here, a pepperoni, margarita, and another pepperoni. So two pepperoni, one margarita, frozen pizza. All right, a lazy night in. <laughs> Y'all know she probably got takeout after this. Uh we got this like random green pepper in our order that we didn't order, so it must have been a mistake, but oh, whatever, I'll use it. <laughs> we have some strawberries, fresh strawberries. Those strawberries don't look that great. Berries and some mini bananas, which are gonna take time to ripen. Mm -hmm. We have some oil, sunflower oil, some quattro cheese bulldog. So this is- I always wanted to try that. That's like the, that's the noodles, the ramen that like Nick Akato and other big mukbangers do with like the thumbnails where they're holding all the ooey gooey. Yeah. I've had the, I've had the regular spicy one, but not the spicy cheese one. And I can do the black bag, but I cannot do the red bag. Like the red bag is so hot. And I'm like, I really like hot stuff, but I can't do the red bag. It's too hot hot chicken flavor ramen uh four cheese flavor we have some red onions more bread we didn't <laughs> that's a lot of eggs eggs so we, we made a mistake and oh didn't she say eggs are like really cheap over there we ordered too much bread so we have a lot of bread i'll freeze some whatever some eggs eggs so do you think she did that on purpose to sound like Amber Lynn? Free some, whatever. Some eggs. Is that how she says it? Or is she copying Amber Lynn as a joke, as a troll? So this is part of a sale, but you guys are going to freak out. So this, all of these eggs were 150 fills, eggs. which is about 75 cents Canadian. It's what? insane. It's just crazy. The, the deals here. So. That's crazy. I feel like that would be like 20 bucks. <laughs> Sometimes. Um, we have some tomatoes. Might make a nice fresh tomato. Soup. I always wanted to grow like my own tomatoes. Stupid that. And some grilled cheese. Oh, yeah. And we have some potatoes. I think my grandpa had like a tomato tree. And I forgot. We also got or bush or whatever some you water. Call it. And we also. She's trolling. Trolling with the homies. Got a bunch of water. We do have a water filter now, but still, we like to drink bottled water. Because sometimes the water... I, know, water. I use the water filter water to cook with and everything and make tea, but just to be on the safe side, we drink the water. All right, I'm like over this already. 
Yeah, it's just going to be bullshit for the rest of the video. She So here's what she wanted to do, guys. You guys know eight minutes. Eight minutes means you can put another ad in there, you know? So she decided to fill the end of it with footage of cats, her making a sandwich. Wait, I, I don't think I saw this part. <laughs> it's funny how she's like struggling to do it with one hand because she's filming. They should start recycling. Do they recycle? Okay, that's in her kitchen. Is that where she's gonna film? That's not con- like, this is just not content. Like, what is this? Yes, girl, chew that chip. Chew that chip. <laughs> Did they move over the old stove? I don't think they can take that stove, right? Or maybe they did, I don't know. Oh, and here she goes plugging her her couples channel as if hey we guys, don't already know. Did you know that we have a couples channel? We have a vlogging couple. Did you guys know that I have a couples channel? Yes. Couples channel, if you were not aware, it is called Salah and Chantal. And as you can see from these brief clips here, these are just some snippets from I can't with her like preschool teacher voice. Like, come on in, kids our vlogs we do activities in kuwait where we both live here she's together. literally a preschool teacher all right let's move on to something else rewind what do you want to see this hold on <laughs> it's don't shame wait we have a vlogging couple hey guys did you know Hey guys, did you know that we have a couples channel? We have a okay. <laughs> A lot of people have been speculating like what her weight is at this time. I mean, I don't know. I'd say probably like 400, right? Remember her old series? Chantal used to do a series called My 400 Pound Life. And it was like, her best series, maybe. <laughs> let's watch her newest one, um, unless you want to see her cut. Unless you want to see her uh, chow down on these noodles. I don't think I'm going to watch this whole thing, but maybe we'll take a look at a little bit of her live stream. When was this uploaded? Yesterday? Yeah, yesterday. Not your average old lady. Thank you for the super chat. Alex, you are great. So funny and entertaining. Thank you for the laughs. Thank you. Not your average old lady. Welcome. Were they at a children's museum? I don't know. <laughs> Pizza of my misery update. We'll get into that later. I'm going to be miserable every single day. I'm going to be miserable every single day. Hello, foodie beauties. <laughs> I'm going to be miserable. I love how she's now starting to eat out of pots. Like, did the shock factor wear off? Like, everybody's seen her eat, like, a ton of food. It is what it is. So she has to try new shocking things, like eating out of a pot. It's not helping. I mean, the mukbang views have fell off, too. Yikes. Karen from Compliance. Welcome. Love your stuff. Thank you so much, Karen. Welcome. Let's get a welcome. Welcome. <laughs> Where is it? She's trying to get that shock factor going again. That's all this is about. Foodie Cotto. Avocado. People just aren't shocked by you anymore. They're just not. 
onion and green bell pepper. I don't really care about this. Let's skip to the bang. Oh, okay, she does it right in the skillet. Skillet back, skillet lasagna. And she's just gonna eat it right out of the skillet. You know, I know they call it skillet lasagna, but that doesn't mean you're supposed to eat it out of the skillet. Like. <laughs> Bismillah. Hi guys. So what has she been doing? Like what, does she even feed her husband? Like this man goes out and gets her whatever food she wants. And yet it doesn't seem like he's given any of the food. Like here she is again. That's as far as I know, completely full girl. Like she wants him to play the husband role. This is back to what Missy Moo said. She wants him to pay the, play the doting husband, but she can't like do something for him, make him some food or something. I mean, damn, this is a give and take Chantal. It doesn't have to be like traditional, but, uh, it's still a give and take. Welcome back to another video. I have Pepsi. Not just you take, 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 take. That's her thing. The Pepsi. You know what she does? She take, 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 takes, and then she'll just hand out some money and think that that's like, okay. But sometimes people just want you to maybe do something, you know, money doesn't fix everything. Money is not going to fix this relationship, sweetie. Getting in the, uh, behind it's the only curtains. downhill from here. Behind the scenes, Pepsi. That Pepsi's going to do her in. in. You know, I'm kind of sometimes liking it without ice because, I mean, it is cold. Our fridge is very cold. Um, you know, so. Thank you. <laughs> That's such a good comment. Uh, where to go? Where to go? Liberace. Salah eats her leftovers like Orlan. <laughs> Salah should start doing leftover mukbangs. They can copy off of Nick Ocado. It would probably get more views than his gaming videos. I mean, people don't really want to watch him game. Eat the I'll leftovers. Here so we can see the food. Okay, so I have a feast. I am so hungry. Oh my God. Is this what she calls a normal portion? Like that's for an entire family. You could feed a family of six or seven with that. Like, or a family of four and have leftovers. Like that's, no. This is ridiculous. It took so much willpower not to just say, you know, screw it and just order food. <laughs> I might have lasagna. Cook. I might have cooking face because I'm sweaty from cooking. Okay, so we have some Pepsi. Does she make any for her man? Like, what about your man? You didn't make him anything? Full sugar. We have some, these are donut or uh, we call Oh, you know what? He's with his other family. I do see that. Look, they have the, the blue couch. Did that come with the old apartment they were able to keep that blue couch i'm confused i'm confusion call them yibra in um well salah calls them yibra syrian um dolma i think is the greek way of saying it i'm not sure but anyway these are stuffed grape leaves you guys know i love them and just look at that portion of grape leaves did she get those takeout cheese toasty and the one pan lasagna whoa let's check this out and I'm like even that portion of grape leaves is just ginormous i mean who's gonna eat that many with a big wooden spoon because i don't have any small wooden spoons so you're gonna judge me i know what else he's eating food at his other wife's house oh my god it's new but whoa check this lasagna yeah it's can she just cheese. eat all the cheese off of the top of it for old time's sake but I did burn the top of the cheese, cheese I left the it top. under the broiler a little bit. Like I baked it on like 375 for maybe 15 to 20 minutes. And then I put it under the broiler. I like a good lasagna. Then... That looks too hot to eat. You know, it would cool down um, faster if you actually plated it. But, you know, too much work, right? So. This is yes, just let's insane. Eat. Let's try one of these grape leaves. I love these so much. You know, beauty bite. She's gone wild. Mm. <laughs> You guys like this? She's literally gone wild. I guess the shock factor is working. Set up or what? Because this is just... This is my carpet. Our carpet. And it's funny how she thinks that this is like a F you. Her eating all of this food 
in her mind, she sees this as an F you. It's like, girl, people might like LOL at it, but we're not really bothered at the end of the day. It's your, your dumbass that's not going to be able to fucking move in a couple months. Not us. We'll be fine. Mm. I love this table because I can put my tissue here and just take them out. <laughs> Hmm. Bubbly cold Pepsi. And what's with the full fat soda every you're day? You're thinking, well, <clears throat> you're complaining about cooking. It's a big task for you. It kind of is because I'm one of those people that eat out every day. And it's literally like the easiest thing to cut out soda for diet soda. You know, I, it's not easy to cut out soda completely, but it's easy to switch to diet soda. Now I've gone from doing that to like in my opinion. caring for someone because you know I have a husband now. It's not just You don't me. even care for so him. I just order Starbucks every day for breakfast. I sorry, I had to cut. The grape leaf is sour. It's stuffed with um wait, let me show you. What are you doing for him? Rice and herbs. Mm. This is and her like OMAD. Mm. She is not doing OMAD. That is such a law and a half. We know it. We see right through it, sweetheart. Okay. So yeah, I it's really hot. I don't want to burn myself. Let's try it on the toast first. Lasagna sandwich type deal. Baby <laughs> bite. Girl, you are not Amber Lynn. Mm. <sighs> mm. No way. My first look, Kuwait lasagna, a success. So. What's she even going to talk about? When I get up, I make breakfast. Like, I usually always make homemade breakfast. Lies. It's the dinners we usually eat out. Like, I'll usually make Salah Loves fried eggs with um, mushrooms and sometimes mortadella. I would like to see, like, a real genuine day in the life. I know we're never going to get that because if she does do a day in the life, it's going to be, like, very sanitized. She's going to do things that she doesn't normally do. She's going to think about how people are going to judge it. And so she will do specific things and show specific things um, to, I guess, make herself look better. But I would like to see a genuine day in the life. I think that it would start off... She would wake up. She would lay in bed on her phone for, like, an hour... Uh, scrolling like Reddit or Twitter. She probably has like a sock account over there. Um, you know, forums about her, other people's videos. She'll read the comments and then she'll get up, throw on her abaya. Maybe they'll cook. I don't know. Maybe she'll cook. Maybe she'll order out. With cheese inside the eggs, like fried eggs and bread. And then like a little side things like makdus, like stuffed eggplant olives um labna she probably wakes up and salah's not there dubin cheese stuff like this you know <laughs> wait <laughs> we can't so typical like syrian type breakfast sometimes full <laughs> order food what would happen if she got that mansion like would we be watching like a homeless bees by now if she got that mansion Mm. living in the Kia. Remember when that was like a possibility? Man, that's good. She was, we thought that she was going to end up living in that Kia because, <laughs> because the mansion fell through, but somehow she ended up in Kuwait. Like what? The way these stars aligned for her. It's rather unusual. I love it. All that for breakfast. I don't think this is her breakfast. I can taste wow. the bay leaves very well. <laughs> She's breaking her yeah. fast. Mm. So. Will she get some of that vitamin D from the windows? Maybe that'll help her out with the depression a little bit. I'm going to put my drink here. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> so usually if I get frustrated, like, but I love my kitchen. It's just so, everything is just so accessible and... It's very spacious and everything. Accessible. So, yeah. I hope I don't have like tomato sauce mouth. I don't know if you know what I mean by that, but there's like this, like, for example, we in, in elementary school, there was this kid who always had Kool-Aid mouth. Okay. Yeah, I know exactly what you mean. 
Kool-Aid mouth, like when your mouth is like red or blue. Yeah. Rabid, rabid, rabbit huggers, rabbits huggers. This is the worst Kuwait tourism ad ever. <laughs> Thank you, rabid. Thank you for the super chat. Welcome. There's no plastic on her table. Yeah, that's because she ordered or that's because she cooked it herself. Like when you order takeout in Kuwait, apparently they give you like a sheet of plastic to put over your table, like sort of a placemat. Like with my friends, it was kind of mean, but we would joke and call him Kool-Aid Mouth Kevin. Girl, you had Kool-Aid Mouth every single day with the Twisty Misties. That'll give you Kool-Aid Mouth. Is it hot? Slow down. That was hot, but so good. Slow down, girly. These are just garlic toast. And she's like just eating right out of it. Like what? I get it's only her and Salah, but still like, do you want to eat like an eaten out of lasagna? Like, no, you don't want to eat an eaten out of lasagna. So, Roll up my bar sleeves. I mean, that tells me that she's like the only one eating this, right? Is she gonna, is Salah even gonna get any of that? <laughs> Probably not. So, yeah, um, he would just always come to school, poor kid, with like a ring of Kool Aid, red Kool Aid around his mouth. And then for all of her stories are literally from high school. Like, what, why do I care about this person's Kool Aid mouth? Like, what? Lunch, he would always eat like these, like, microwavable like ravioli dinners or something with like okay. pasta sauce like alfagetti and he would get like a tomato sauce ring <laughs> i don't know like if i was like the teacher's aide like usually like the younger i feel like this was her i feel like she's projecting and that was her she was the one that walked around with kool-aid mouth she was the one that had a sauce ring every time she had ravioli for lunch this is just a projection like usually elementary school we had like a teacher then like a teacher's aide who like maybe like help with like you know the kids kind of like a babysitter and i would like take him to the washroom and wash his mouth or take a run you would take him you would go in the men's restroom boys restroom i agree i don't know but see now her stories never really make that much sense my schools were not very good for that like if a kid had like like dirty pants or something they wouldn't care like what do you want them to do <laughs> like <laughs> the only thing they have is like basketball shorts i remember they made me change like my ripped i had ripped like abercrombie jeans and they made me change into like basketball shorts but it was stupid because like the basketball shorts showed more skin than the ripped jeans it was all just horseshit so it's really good really meaty i bought yeah why is she going into the bathroom with this no i don't even think the guy exists so i don't know really the fresh beef as long as i buy the fresh beef it's okay <laughs> because i bought like a tube maybe it was just the quality of this type of beef but i bought a tube of like frozen ground beef and frozen ground mutton the ground mutton was okay i know mutton makes some people laugh or i don't know but <laughs> the beef was tasted so like like a cow grazing in a pasture. What does that even mean? It just tasted like really fresh. <laughs> Did I see Taylor Swift? No. I wish I could have saw Taylor Swift. She was in Philly this weekend, right? No, I didn't. But this one tastes more like the beef I'm used to. Ready for the Salah OF arc? Speaking of OF, did you guys see that Mr. No, that's too respectful. Uh, 14 Natter has opened up an OF page, I heard. I don't know if that's 100% true, but yo, who's going to pay for that? I feel like we've, we've already seen it, right? We've already seen it. What I mean? It's so hot. I should eat from the top. <laughs> It's so hot and cheesy. Grass fed. And the cream sauce like makes it nice and rich. You know? I don't what am I eating with? I know. But I don't want to I saw comments about my my pan. 
I like the macaroni in a pot. And it's so true. I don't want to like ruin my pan, you know? So I'll just use this. <laughs> what? And she's literally using like a serving spoon to eat. The important thing is that it goes from point A to point B. <laughs> and out point C. <laughs> Didi will pay nads. Why would Didi pay for his OF? I mean, she already has unfettered access, if you know what I mean. I'm like, I am white trash. I can eat from the pan. It looks better. Some tw some Taylor Swift fans get pretty aggressive when you don't like her. I don't care. <laughs> I'm not like that. I don't have to dirty any more dishes. You can't even look at her. That's how I felt when I saw her come up on my For You page. Mm -hmm. I was like, nope, this is my TikTok time. No. I don't, I just, I can't even look at it. Do you guys think this is feeder fodder? I do believe 100% that this is some sort of feeder fodder. Maybe it's not highly, highly requested, but she's trying to reach that audience. She wants to reach like Hungry Fat Chick's audience, right? Because she sees that Candy does pretty well on her mukbangs, better than her. So she wants to reach that audience. I just don't think that she has the charisma, uniqueness, nerve, or talent, though. So good. <laughs> so, yeah. Forgive me if I end up looking like Kool-Aid Mouth Kevin. <laughs> With my tomato sauce. He doesn't exist. Maybe that was like a joke in a movie. Like a 90s comedy. That's probably where she got that from. It was just a joke in a 90s comedy. <laughs> the ship has sailed. Yeah, she completely gave the middle finger to her mukbang audience. She had a pretty decent mukbang audience back in the day. 30K every single video, right? She doesn't have that anymore because she gave them the middle finger with the live stream era. I didn't make those. They're not coming back. HFC is much more likable. I agree. But they're good quality. Mm. Even though these days it's like, whenever I watch Candy, I'm like, oh, Candy, why, why, why? <laughs> But I can't hate her because she just seems to be a sweet person that's struggling. So yeah, I saw this meme and I'm like, this is totally us. Kate, I don't yep. know if you guys do this, but like, I say when I say I'm proud of that I cooked because, well, yesterday. Because you get takeout every day. Like, <laughs> this is only replacing one meal. Like, somebody else is going to come or she's going to get takeout for the next meal though, right? So fresh. I just made like a simple like noodle recipe. Oh, I that's a good idea them. for the soundboard. Them, but also, I wanted to make something easy and not too daunting. Something that didn't take much commitment or energy because we were out most of the day and then it was hot. And Doing we were, what? Uh, did a lot of groceries. Well, we did groceries, but. How is she handling the heat over there? Do we need to do our Kuwait weather? <laughs> Reporting live from Kuwait City, I have the weather for you guys today. Hi, my name is Rains a lot, and I have the <laughs> No. Um it looks like it's in the Oh, it's raining a lot. Yeah. It's in the 90s and it's raining every day pretty much this week. You don't like how she digs around and plays around in the food. We have like a lot of food in our fridge already, so we, it was more like a top up. Fart box. But we didn't want to, uh, like, usually on grocery day. 
there's something going on with her eyes. Like, I don't mean to make fun or anything like that, but there's something seriously going on with her eyes. Like, pay attention. It seems like she's almost going cross-eyed at some points, and then she's constantly looking this way and looking that way, which we've seen over the years, especially when she would eat her, eat in her car. She would, like, look this way, that way, this way, that way. But, but today, it seems almost doubly as bad. It's funny because I saw a meme where it's, like, people sitting around eating takeout with grocery bags in the background, and they're like, us after doing us after spending like $300 on groceries, <laughs> you know, ordering out because yeah. it's like exhausting, like going to the grocery store sometimes doing, especially if you do a huge order. And then, but Oh goodness, Elaine, her new building was tagged as the luxury fart box on Google maps. Yikes. <laughs> yeah. I think I saw people beginning to talk about that. Yikes. <laughs> Travel into Flavortown. What? By the time you get home, put all this stuff away, you're just really hungry and you don't want to like, you know, I don't know. You just don't want to cook. That's why you grab McDonald's on the way home from the grocery store. Just kidding. <laughs> Who wants McDonald's? Mm. I've never seen a portion size like this. Mm. Well. So cheesy and delicious. I guess in like Nikocado videos. Maybe but he doesn't cheesy. eat it at all. Beefy cheesy. Neither does she, but still. <laughs> at least not this one. <clears throat> Usually she does eat it all, and it's shocking. But today she's not going to be able to eat all that. But anyway. The luxury mm -hmm. for... <laughs> the luxury villa. I wonder, like, I still wonder. I wish that we knew what had become of the luxury villa what if someone's i wonder if someone moved in what do you guys think they would have had to do like a lot of work on that place to get it ready for an, another family like <laughs> she smuggled snow <laughs> like you said you're gonna cook Not cool. <laughs> You're probably going to see a lot of those ingredients that I bought um, in mukbangs. I just wonder, why make so much? Like, I understand. Yeah, what's wrong with her eyes, right? You saw that too? What is wrong with her eyes in this video? Like, it almost seems crazy. Um, why make that much? Unless, I guess she's going to keep this for leftovers or something but that just seems like too fucking much like <laughs> you don't want to waste food you know no mm. i don't sweetheart e when she licks her poo i saw a really nice comment yesterday it was from somebody going through like chemotherapy and my videos really help them so i just want to like shout them out and say that i will definitely keep you in my thoughts and prayers and i wish you well and thank you for you know making my day with that comment actually most of you guys whenever you're like really positive and nice that was sweet <laughs> usually she doesn't give a shit about anybody else's problems and you know even like just the positive vibes really help and are, i really appreciate them although i do see this as kind of like an uh, kind of like a act. Keep digging, girl. I made some of my live streams, recent ones, members only. Why? Um, I did see that. She privated so many live streams. Well, she didn't private them. She members only a lot of live streams. Why? I mean, that just means she's not going to make any money off of them, period. That's all that really means. 
it's crazy how she's doing literally everything in her power to destroy her own channel. Like, it almost makes you wonder, is there something more to this? Like, is she doing this on purpose? Or is she just so impulsive that she has she has begun to accept these consequences for her impulsivity? Or is she doing this on purpose? Maybe she wants to know, like, if my views go down really, really low and I don't make that much money at all, is Salah going to step it up and support me? And maybe this is almost some sort of test for Salah. I don't know. I don't know if I did it right, though, but... <clears throat> it's not that I, like, it's not that I regret what I say or I'm afraid or anything like that. It's just that, like... Then why take it down? Yeah, look at that. Look at her eat that. Hold on. It's just that, like... Oh, wait, that wasn't it. Never mind. Her eyes are just sending me in this video. Every time I do a live stream where I address drama, I've done rumors or drama. That's what people want to see. It, like soon after. And it's because like, I don't want to. Then just don't talk about it. Give these people attention. I don't want to give them the clout that they're seeking or the attention from me that they're seeking. Girl, you did not have to address Missy Moo. Um, but you did. That's a perfect screenshot right there. You think Salah's living in the old place? Ooh, that's a good point. Maybe this was like her getting a new place for herself. And Salah is in the previous place with the with the flies. But what about the couch though? Did they give them this couch as like a move-in gift? It seems like this couch, this very specific blue couch... They give that to you in Kuwait. <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> it's just like something they do, I guess. They give you blue couches. Because I realized that like. Yeah, it is lasagna. For some people, obviously they want my attention if they're addressing me, right? Certain no. people. So it's like. Sometimes they, it doesn't matter if they get positive or negative as long as it's attention. That's you. That's literally you. Projection much. She's the one that doesn't care. She just wants attention. It doesn't matter if it's positive or negative. She just wants attention. That's you. Doll baby. And I don't want to give people that. <laughs> Who don't deserve it. The new apartment is just a green screen. <laughs> LOL. Oh, is the couch for getting married like a wedding gift? So, that's why I private them a lot, you know? Whatever. Even they're already on the internet because, like, everything I do is instantly taken. Yeah, you might as well just keep it up because other channels have it already. So, so, like, I think I put out a video yesterday and somebody started reacting to it. Um, I think, like, 11 minutes later. <laughs> I'm not Good. kidding. Good. I don't see the problem. <laughs> LOL. Wine glass. I thought that was but, like a margarita glass. I Until I see them in there in the daytime with the windows open. Yeah, none of her, none of her new videos show that this apartment, well, that's the floor. Yeah, so she is in there as far as I know. That is the right floor. We're just trying to do our content. Like, I want to work more on the couple's channel, by the way. Then our do it. Channel, I'm working on that later tonight. <laughs> like, we've been busy, and the videos that require... Part two? Part two of what? Hold on. I need to check the couple's channel right now. <laughs> There's nothing on here, part two. Nothing. Oh, it would be the museum... Nobody cares about that damn museum, girl. Couples vlog at Bait Al Otham Museum, part two. No. Not watching. Not bothered. More editing have been suffering more, but... Not bothered. Not bothered. I'll get back to it. Mm. This is delicious. My nose is itchy. Mm. 
Just Jamie, thank you for the super chat. I guess you can see bricks holding up the couch. Are those bricks? Thank you, Jamie, for the super chat. I don't see it. Oh, wait, that does look like a brick, doesn't it? <laughs> Thanks, Jamie. I don't know if that's like the bottom of the couch or the couch leg or if that's just a brick, like a cement block. <laughs> I guess it could be either. Uh, I don't know, guys. Yikes. She's got cement bricks. I love Pepsi. Pepsi does not love you. This has just become like a huge cheesy meaty ba 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 really ba <laughs> You know. Is that a different blue couch? I don't know. Oh. Okay, guys. I think I'm full. Where's your gym this membership? Was very delicious very easy in terms of lasagna you didn't finish it i wanted to see her finish that um you don't have to do the layers and all that stuff i don't know why i, I just find making lasagna i just find making lasagna, lasagna daunting for some reason so this is an easy way why it's lasagna it's too much work for her because you got a layer you know you put your layers in put another noodle layer it on another noodle that's too much for her just with things that I had in my pantry and fridge, you know. And my favorite. <laughs> I love these so much. Anyways, guys, thanks for having dinner with me again. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye. And there's Harry the... Wait, is that a possum or is that Harry the hamster? There has been this, like, ongoing rumor that she has replaced Harry the hamster. I don't know. I think that's a little ridiculous, but it wouldn't surprise me. This is like Harry number three. <laughs> Just something happened to that hamster and she knows that people are going to talk shit. Yeah, the Britney Spears Pepsi commercial. Yep, that's what I was alluding to. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. Thanks for being boring. It gives us a lot to talk about, doesn't it? Chantal being boring. Okay, so let's share this community tab post. Um, Foodie Beauty is upset on Mother's Day. Say it isn't so. I wonder if she deleted it. I have a copy from Reddit. Yeah, she deleted it. Okay. So we have it up here. This is from Reddit. R slash Foodie Tootie. And this is her community tab. Um, She's still clapping back at Missy Moo. Like still clapping back. So you so do you want me to show the DMs of how you just months ago was that person a supporter for years, and then instead of messaging me privately to ask about BBJ, you just go on and super chat the enemy. Move on. <laughs> I love how she like thinks of FFG as like the enemy. Like what is this war? <laughs> Sleeping with the enemy. Uh, move on. Isn't it Mother's Day? Don't you have anything better to do? You are becoming everything you hated and more. You are a fake, lying, clout-chasing psycho. So like I said, she did delete this. I think it's because it's not very modest to do this. Um, she's using naughty words <laughs> to come after Missy Moo. I, got me I get messages every day from people who love me. Okay. I brought love and laughter into my husband's life. Really? And many fans and supporters tell me every day how much I bring to their day. You need to seriously stop talking about us and move the hell on with your pathetic life. Go make more fake emails for sympathy. Weirdo. Now back to ignoring you. By the way, it's Empower. What do you do with your channel other than showcase creepy dolls, your cluttered room, unkempt animals, and hate towards me? LMAO hypocrite. Oh my gosh. <laughs> and there's another one, guys. 
This is also from Reddit. Thank you to the good people at Reddit because I I was not fast enough to get these community tab posts. They're all deleted. What toothpaste or whitener? I use the Colgate, like the red Colgate toothpaste. I highly, highly, highly recommend that. So here's what she said. LMAO, as if you aren't obese yourself, all you and your personalityless husband do is lay in bed and eat. Again, she is coming for Missy Moo. Apparently, Missy texted Foodie and said that her and her husband were like staying in bed all day this one specific day. And now Chantal continues to use that as like, this is what Missy does all day, every day. <laughs> Are these dirty deleted? Yeah, they're all dirty deleted, guys. In your hilarious lingerie video, it looks like you are holding a gun to his back to make him smile. What? Holding a... You are psychotic. Lay off the benzos. Oh my gosh. And 40 minutes to do nothing, so you stalk my channel. And what about the other 800 videos and posts about us? All pedicure time as well. Blah, 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 blah. Enriching people's lives. Wait. <laughs> wow. So she literally called her I, I psychotic. That makes you even more of a sociopath, so. I can understand why she deleted these. I mean, I think that she thinks if she shows... She thinks that maybe Salah won't see them. I could definitely see Salah telling her to delete these because of just the way that he, it looks and he doesn't like her looking like that in public. Like, he wants her to be... he Salah wants her to be, like, the fake thing that she is being. Like, <laughs> you know how she projects to be this modest, humble woman, blah, blah, blah. That's what Salah wants her to be, right? Benzos. What about Bezos? Let's see what Missy Moo... Did she have to clap back or anything? Where's the lingerie video that she was talking about? I kind of want to look at that. <laughs> so this is the person that Foodie is fighting with. A lot of you guys already know Missy Moo. Of course you know her. What has she been doing? Live stream. Where's the live stream of her and Lingerie? Is it deleted? <laughs> okay, so, this isn't uh, the right one. I can't find the lingerie live stream, but she was wearing this like really, she was wearing like a bra and a see-through shirt. I think I saw that. Is that what she was talking about? Why is Get Off Bezos her top insult? <laughs> I don't know. I mean, Bezos will really mess you up. Yeah, Jeff Bezos. <laughs> Let's take a look at a little bit of her latest live stream. Um, I think I'm going to want to move on in about 30 minutes, but I hey. haven't seen this yet. I don't think many people have seen this yet. This is her latest live stream from earlier today. I haven't heard anything about it. S Jam. Yeah, I did see the situation happening with S Jam. Um, it's just sad. Like, I don't know what's going on with him, but he was a complete and total mess. Like, he even took his pants off. <laughs> hello, hello. Bees are horrific. How are you doing? I'll try not to move my head over. Skip the pleasantries. Hi. Okay, so she's still using that, uh, the shisha, smoking the shisha. What's with the two-toned or two different color curtains, guys? They still have the right out of the box creases. You notice that? Do y'all have a uh, iron? Green grapes, Gemini Gem, JJ. It's fresh out of the box crease. I didn't see any of this. Hi, baby. Al Sultan Salah. <laughs> Thank you, honey. Hi, Deirdre. Rhonda, I love you. What happened? Of course, I would. What's the verdict about the email? Most people think it was foodie, but some people also think it was a troll, and some people think that Missy Moo faked it. Just me a happy Mother's Day. I did a lot more than that. Hi, Energy. Love the lip color. Thank you. 
what's Missy Moo's deal? Who the heck is she? So Missy Moo is a previous supporter of Chantal. She was Chantal's number one supporter. She would go after reaction channels like Just Breezing Today uh, in order to defend Foodie. And so she said like a lot of things that hurt a lot of people. And after the BBJ situation where FFG took BBJ and then revealed that her nails were stuck in the paws and there this was a neglect situation, Missy fell off because Missy has a lot of animals and she is like an animal lover. So so, so she could excuse like everything else that Foodie did, but not the animals. <laughs> oh, hi, babe. Thanks for calling me beautiful. <laughs> That's Missy. Though, you look at me all day. I'd love to hear it. I hope you're doing well. Thank you. You want to vape? Don't be jealous of anything Chantal has. It's not real. Yeah, it's true. I had a bad dream about smoking and like I couldn't breathe. And, Is SJM um, going to rehab? I had this weird dream that I was like, for some reason, I was back in Katimovic. And back when I was in Katimovic. Okay, so first, actually, guys, happy Mother's Day to all mothers out there. Um, those who are with us. I do think it's really possible that it was just a troll, like the email. I think it's very possible it was a troll. Yeah. But I don't know. Today, and those who are not, Salah brought, bought these and they're so delicious. I don't know if you ever had these. Sun-kissed orange drink. <laughs> it's not even going to lie and say it's real. That looks like something you could get at the corner store. I kind of am into it, though. But it's fortified with vitamin C. I'm kind of into you know it, Jason, though. Dream about Jason? He's a wuss. <laughs> Just, I don't know how you run away from these people and they catch up like that. She defended you on panel. No way. Ron, which Rhonda? Because there's a few. Is the Rhonda with the parrot? Do you think that she reached out to her mother today? Or she just didn't care? <laughs> oh, you freeze them? I guess she'll let us know. Okay, I'm going to try these Pop Pops and show you what they're like. Just like, I want to show you, but I'm not hungry. But... Oh, wait, I actually want to see this. Should I turn this up a little bit, guys? Oh, okay. I, I want to see the Pop Pop. Sorry. This is what it looks like. Oh, that looks weird. Oh, it's like a little puff. I get it. I get it. You know who would love these? Howie. Babe. Then give him some. Like, you're too lazy to go get him. You missed him when you were in the other room. And then everyone thought he was, like, missing. <laughs> we're dead. Thanks, Anna. Yes, Rhonda with the parrot. No way. Hi, P and V. Yeah. Hi, Stan. Is she going to address something or what? Yuck, let's watch that again. Stan. <laughs> oh, we're just getting all the B-roll today, baby. What did she say? <laughs> London, it comes with three. Pop, pop. They're good. Mm. I'm not hungry, though. Trying to skim through this a little bit. I'm filming a mukbang today, so. Plus, we were at the beach. I like can barely get through her live streams anymore, guys. I already deleted some of my community posts because I don't feel like I hate drama. Like, okay, here we go. Yeah, here we go. Okay. I noticed that if you watch the first 20 minutes, you usually get all the tea. And that's all you have to watch is like the first 20 minutes. Left alone. I don't, I'm not the one making all these videos about people. Okay, let's slow it down a little bit because she's going to talk about the drama. I already deleted some of my community posts because I don't feel like I hate drama. Like, I just want to be left alone. I don't so not this the was one just, making all these videos about people. So this was just a situation where she was impulsive and came and came. Uh, she was just being impulsive and came out with this clap back to Missy Moo, which was pretty bad. So she had to take it down out of like you know what i mean like you can't control yourself like you literally cannot control yourself that much that you regret putting up a community tab post you can't control yourself from making a community tab post that's a you issue like you know how many steps that takes like okay no that my marissa is not the same marissa no you have to pick up your phone. You have to open up YouTube. You have to go to your page. You have to type it all in. Girl. 
This seems like an issue. Don't listen to people, yeah. She looks angry. Like whenever she hits that, it look, <laughs> hey, she looks angry. A creature. Just like, yeah, the making up emails and lies and everything like that. It sounded like you. It's too much for me. Then just say it's not real. Like she, <laughs> she has turned this situation into a fiasco when she could have just said, this is just bullshit. It's just bullshit. Flop, we went out like four Makes you five. wonder. It wasn't bad, but down by the water, it didn't feel hot at all, actually. Haters gonna hate ignore them right now. This is making my head look extra eggy because of the way I have it wrapped a few times. Haters are gonna hate, but I just love, love, love. On my neck. <laughs> That's what this channel's about, guys. Love, love, love. She said, Salah, I started to work. Please. Like, the it was funny when Missy was trolling and she said that Salah told her to film herself opening up windows because <laughs> he just misses the windows so much. <laughs> Good troll. The funny thing is, there's no proof of this whatsoever. There's no... We're still waiting. Fine, it's a troll, whatever. You know, still waiting oh. on, on out being outed by Sam's Bar Lounge. I thought that Missy actually posted some of these screenshots. Or she showed them in a video, right? Sam's Lounge, like, that's not even on anybody's radar anymore. Yeah, Sam's Lounge said that they were going to expose Foodie, but... Nobody's really waiting for that anymore. And what else? What would they really expose? We know literally almost everything that happened during that Natter saga. None of it makes it look her. None of it makes her look good. I don't think that anything else could come out about the Natter saga that would make her look even worse because she already looks pretty fucking bad. It can't get any worse. I'm Trixie. Like there's no proof whatsoever of any of these claims. Like she literally gave him an alibi. None. Because guess what? They don't exist. <laughs> if they did, they would have already been produced. Number two, okay. if it's taking this long to produce them, you have to wonder about their credibility if something ever did pop up. People are already questioning her credibility, girl. Like... <laughs> I may the thing that is in Missy's favor is that it's all believable. You know, that's... That's what Missy has in her favor. None none of the things that she said were unbelievable. It all made sense. Lasagna for Salah. Golden Girl, Chantal. Yes. Oh, I'm glad. I'm glad, Golden Girl. It went okay. Yeah, no, for sure. Rest up. And come back and bees when you feel good, you know? <laughs> A plus soon, hopefully. Oh, it's 10 o'clock, everyone. I'm glad you were okay, Golden Girl. Yes. Yeah, her marriage certificate. Where's the proof of that? It doesn't exist. <laughs> uh... <clears throat> How convenient. Hi, Toys Divorced. How convenient that she can't produce her marriage certificate. And what about the subpoena? I wonder if she was subpoenaed. Subpoenaed. Putting cheese whiz in lasagna. Okay, I now put cheese whiz in everything. Craft. Should we do a poll? Let's do a poll. Um, was foodie subpoenaed? So Natter, if you guys missed the drama, Natter was saying that foodie was going to have to speak in his trial. But Chantal thinks that nobody can reach her because she's in Kuwait. And if they were to send a subpoena, though, wouldn't it go or wouldn't the people, the officers or the bounty hunters or the people that serve papers, they would go to the villa, right? Or maybe they would look for her at her mother's apartment or house. They wouldn't be able to contact her in Kuwait because she changed her phone number. She got a Kuwaiti phone number. I don't think she even has her Canadian number anymore. She's completely cut off everybody except for maybe her mom and her uh, her mom and her aunt and Pete's-ish, you know. Can I see her thumbs up and down? No, I can't see it. I have the plug-in on the other computer. He wasn't playing when he said she was going to testify. Yeah, I just don't see her testifying, though. 
and everything. Would she have to? Like, is that, is that like, does she have to or no? It's so good. Is it her My choice? My new addiction is those cheesy spicy noodles, though. You're missing the mysterious window? She says, in a month, the truth will come out. And she's getting her info from a friend of Salah's. She's such really? a <laughs> I don't know if I believe that, but fingers crossed. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Court video chat. You guys. Bounty hunters. Any t I mean, I, I always outed myself. There's nothing. I'm actually really glad, though, that, like, I need to undo my thing a bit. Make it different. I'm glad that these people reveal themselves. Be careful, girl. Be careful. Else before we trust them more, you know. Girl, but you did trust Missy Moo, didn't she? I mean, they would text like every single day. This was her B her BFF, her B B B <laughs> best Beezer because. And in my opinion, it's just disgusting to say, like, I don't know, just to make up lies. Like, you can never, this is what she always does. She never addresses the situations. She never specifically addresses the situations at hand. She just points at it and says, it's all a lie. That's all a lie. Well, what's all a lie? Is it the fact that Salah is upset with your impulsivity? Was that a lie? Because that sounds pretty legit. Was the fact that you guys fight every single day, was that a lie? You got to address these things. Well, you don't, but <laughs> just saying it's a lie, that hurts her credibility because it's like, what's a lie? What do you mean? Address it. Pure, blatant lies. Which was a lie, though? A hundred percent. What was a lie and what wasn't? It's all just a lie. Not all 100% a lie. Women contact random guys. Yeah, I know. And they try to say, well, you had OnlyFans. Yeah, before I was married. Sure, sure. Before I was married and before I was Muslim, I did a lot of things. I did a lot of things that, um, you know, yeah. I'm not the proudest of. I mean, I'm not really ashamed because everyone has a past. And honestly, I don't have a criminal record. Um, I didn't actually do anything to- You're lucky. Like, you're lucky you don't have a criminal record. Like, hurt anybody? Myself, maybe, sure. But yeah, I was messed up, you know? So... <laughs> there might not be any criminal charges, but there's a record of all this whole situation with Natter. There's a record. It might not be, like, a criminal record, but there's a record. Oh, sure there is. <laughs> yeah, Ghostface Gamer, that will <laughs> never happen. I wish. We are going to make a tour of the new apartment after everything, yeah, for oh, sure. Oh. We will. Thanks, Anna. <laughs> uh, that's funny. Meg, Mag, they got Al Capone for tax evasion. Maybe they'll get her for it. <laughs> Yeah, they couldn't they couldn't uh, pin him on anything, so they just went for the tax evasion. You know, it gets the job done either way. <laughs> That's funny. Thank you. Yeah, it's really nice here. We're just like working on decorating and like fixing tax evasion bees. Who leaves the country because they didn't pay their taxes? Like what? Up a bit, but not too too much. I mean, you know, we're not going to be getting like super into decorating hi lo-fi oh, i don't know i'm so tired tonight guys. is she gonna celebrate like halloween or how does that work um we know that's like her favorite holiday she loves doing all the halloween activities will she still do that this year i wonder Rebe, hi Rebe. what did trixie say i missed it all right let's end the poll Oh, wow. Guys, vote in the poll. Vote in the poll. We're at 50-50. We've got 10 seconds. 10, 9. No, wait. Let me let me, let me let it uh, catch up. All right. Let's end it here. Okay. Just so we can get a little a uh, gore-like breath. Welcome. 
how much tax can she owe? I think she said it was like 10,000 or something. So was foodie subpoenaed? 50% say yes. 49% say no. So where's the last 1%? 51% say yes. 49% say no. Okay. He's so little. It's like a tiny little. So it's about split. It's split. Who's a mad bin? Who is but her? She does not your bestest friend. Well, she messed it up, not me. Hi, Kelly. Missy Moose just said she's not like besties with Foodie anymore. <laughs> Thanks, Heron Fox. How are you? My shisha's not working right. <laughs> yeah, we have Central Air Anna. <clears throat> what else are people speculating? right now we do oh if she can afford the plays i think that was something that people have been talking about her low <sighs> views but what was i gonna say hi ava i do wonder like if they hang out with Salah's friends anymore because Missy did make it a point to say that they like talk crap, the friends. And we saw that firsthand with Allah Shabib. Remember him? What happened to him? Come back, Allah Shabib. He was talking shit about them. I mean, he just saw through this entire facade and how much of a joke it was. And people were saying how like they don't go camping anymore. Um, I know that they don't go camping because it's just too hot. But I also think that there is a rift in between a lot of these relationships that Salah had with his boys uh, because of Chantal being here and they don't like her. Period. They don't like her. We will be working on the decorations of the apartment. Yeah. Yeah, we have central air. You have to have air conditioning or central air here. You would die in the summer. Yeah, we, we get it. Um. For sure, you would die, like, 100%. It's so hot. It's so hot. But it's only hot for, like, really hot for part of the day, and then the temperature drops a bunch. Central air is king. It's beginning to get hot. Oh, yes. What do you mean, A+. Plus? I still have my heat on. <laughs> it's about time to change it, though. All of them hate her. Who is it? Um, so yeah, that's, I don't really have much to say. I didn't know Rhonda defended me. I didn't see any of that. We try, really, really don't like just sit around and watch the drama that's going on in court. Yes, she does. Well, you know, I'm impulsive. So if I like catch in where? The drama that's going on in court. Well, oh, girl world. Yeah. She knows literally everything that's going on at all times. Miss me with that. You know, I'm impulsive, so if I, like, catch somebody saying something in my comments or something, I catch wind of something, I react to it right away impulsively, then I delete it. <laughs> but I don't go around and, like, stew and look around and, like, you know. Ah. She's a habitual yeah. liar. Oh, we know that. We know that. We just don't, you know. She's too booked and busy, guys. It's not, it's not good for anyone's mental health. I don't know how people do that on a regular basis. I just don't get Drama. it. Drama. It's fun. <laughs> you know, it's not good for anyone. So thank you for all those who were like, came into Salah's um, gaming. Livestream. That is, that was so much fun. Like, wait, did he have a gaming live stream? What happened? I love watching horror games. Oh, yeah. And taking He's been playing like Resident Evil. He's on Ashley and hanging out with Beezers. <laughs> it's nice to be a participant of the chat sometimes instead of like um, the being person the one on screen. Attempting to entertain. Like All she does is stew. The silver? It's like a purplish silver. I don't know. <laughs> does she have any like hobbies? Like, I feel like she doesn't have a hobby. Like, my hobby is, like, playing video games, which is, like, not the most active hobby. But, you know, at least it's something. 
what does she have? Like she doesn't really do anything. She has food, I guess. She sits around that apartment. Does she get out now? Now that they live seaside, is she able to traverse the little seaside town or, you know, the seaside area? Do they have like a corner store she can go to? Is she allowed out of the apartment without Salah? These are all questions that I have. Like, what does she do? Does she not feel cooped up? Does she not feel like she has lost her um, independence? Because, you know, I, I realize they live in the city, so you wouldn't need, you wouldn't necessarily need a car, but Chantal needs a car because she can't go too far, right? <laughs> so. Yeah, yeah, I did get Tears of the Kingdom. So that's why I didn't post on Fridays. <laughs> I told you guys that I was going to disappear for a couple of days when Zelda came out. So that's what I've been doing. Thank you. I wish Sam could come here, yeah. Sam, girl, that ship has sailed. Oof. Oh, really, Aisha? Weird. Uh, come hang out sometime. I just couldn't imagine, like, not having my car anymore. Like, you know what I mean? What does she do? How does she go anywhere? Keep doing your thing. It's the best revenge. Yeah. Just living your life. I mean, that's all we're trying to do, you know? Do you guys notice that f strange flicker? It's kind of weird. Yeah, I do, I do like Zelda. It's really good. It's really good. It's very addicting. Very addicting. Huh. I don't know, A+. Plus. I'm just trying to... Do you guys see that flicker? That's throwing me off a little bit. Not... It almost looks like when you're filming a screen any attention you know to anybody because it's sickening oh please i'm not hungry Ew. oh please unsub then unsub yeah true if you yeah if you're not getting notifications i think unsubbing and then resubbing helps repo man got the kia you think so perfectly imperfect, that's not right. Movie gal, I'm not responsible for anyone's actions. That was that situation with Missy. Didn't she egg her on? Didn't she egg Missy on to release Perfectly Imperfect info? Hi, Tracy! One kg of deli meat. <laughs> I can go through that and with one person. Yeah, movie gal, I'm not responsible for other people's actions um i have very little you like sympathy it. for that person because see she likes it because they completely were super invasive and doxed a lot of my information unapologetically and i think that if you put yourself out on the internet then and you're nasty then you can also expect people to come for you so so what happened with pi let's just call her pi perfectly imperfect she posted, right, Chantal's bankruptcy information, I believe. And then Chantal met up with some trolls or whatever, and they found some info on her or something like that. What can I say? But then also Missy was, like, looking into it, too. <laughs> Wait, what? Nikki D, thank you for the super chat. Did you see ALR's post about you on IG one hour ago? No. I haven't. Thank you for the super chat. I guess I'll look at it. That might sound nasty, but... Does she hate me again? It's very easy to find people's full names on here. You know? <laughs> no, it's true. I mean... Oh my god, I love Tangelo's. Oh god, there's so many. I love Pomelo's too. But yeah, I'm not accountable for what other people do, like, at all, you know? She's a public figure, exactly. Oh, no. Oh, no, guys. Amber doesn't like me anymore. 
What did I change? I didn't even change. Um, somebody asked Amber. Thank you, Nikki, for giving us the tea. Let me show you guys. Someone asked Amber, do you still watch Alex's Shook? He's kind of like all the other channels now. He's kind of like all the other channels now. What? No, I don't. I'm completely reaction channel free and it's improved my mental health drastically. Still watch, she should still watch the foodie videos though. <laughs> Cam Yan, thank you for the super chat. The flicker is called banding and it's common. Oh, you mean with like the video quality and stuff? Thank you, Cam Yan. She was in here texting a week ago. That's right. She was in here with Dana watching last week. Was that last week or the week before? It was like two weeks ago. Uh, skinny legend super model. Welcome in. I miss you tonight. <sighs> Hello, loves. I came in late tonight, ready for a I love my windows and parking lot view bees. Can you catch me up, Alex? Thank you, skinny legend super model. Um, Basically, we were talking about like the email scandal and all that kind of stuff. And then her recent mukbang and her recent grocery haul. You really have to go back and watch. Welcome. Lily, opinions on FFG and CG drama. Thank you for the super chat, Lily. Welcome in. Something that I'm just like refusing to get involved in. But thank you for the super chat. <laughs> Eileen, thank you for the super chat. Let's keep the super chats going. Thank you so much, Eileen, and welcome, welcome. 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 She got offended over a troll. Yeah, she's been posting a lot of like deleted community tab posts, skinny legend. Howie. He's loving the new place. Hold on, guys. I have to use the bathroom. <laughs> Wait, she's using the bathroom. T T T T T on the bathroom. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> Um, I'm kind of sad that Amber doesn't like me anymore. Amber doesn't watch. Is she in here, Amber? Give us a one, two. Oh, wait, look at this clip, guys. This is a new sound bite. Wait, I don't think you can hear it. It's in the new Amber video. This is something I'm going to suck on. This is something I'm going to suck on. <laughs> Did you guys hear that? I feel like it's so rude to blow the smoke into the camera. Yeah. Amber still watches you. She's lying. Probably. Oh, wait. I forgot she went to the bathroom. Can I go to ALR's old hood and go to the Cheesecake Factory? <laughs> I can go to the Cheesecake Factory, but I'm not going all the way to Lexington for that. Oh, you couldn't hear it? Yeah. We'll get to it. It's in her new video. Um, it's hard to hear, like, phone to microphone. <laughs> it's just a huge window. <laughs> Thank you, Lois. Hi, JJ. Hi, all She's upset users. I called her boring. Oh, yeah, because there was that one little segment where we were like, you know, it's, is it over for Amber? Like, OMG. Welcome, Danny. You do parody videos? Sweet. So, yeah. What else is new? I come on here and never have anything to talk about. <laughs> I know, like, what's the point? <laughs> Just, it's 
smoke shisha and relax. I have to freeze these. Sounds good. I'm about ready to move on from this. You're glad I'm back. Was I gone for a long time? <laughs> you want to watch Narc Blend? Lemon mint. I kind of want to do like a quickie Anyone pizza update. Besides me, probably not. Let's do a quickie pizza update. She addressed the drama in the beginning, so I don't. I really don't think that there's going to be that much worth watching. Or let's like skim. Oh really? I don't know about that tea. <laughs> What happened? <laughs> dip, 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 dip. I see that. Do, 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 do. Yes, girl, give us nothing. <laughs> Pete's got a bill from the villa. Really? Where'd you hear that? Pete's of my mind. He's on right now. There's only 57 people watching. Is he okay? Is Pete's okay? That microphone, bro. <laughs> hey, Jonathan. I'm just waiting. I'm going to keep doing these updates until we see him actually put something in the closet. Like. Send us. Yeah, so when we ordered. Um, ordered a couple of uh, baklavas for my mom as well. And. Uh, they didn't come. I'm going to be miserable every single day. So called them back to get them. He looks thinner. That's an astute observation. I feel like, yeah, he does look a little bit thinner, huh? Just not being with Chantal has made things better for him. They still hadn't come, so my mom just called them back, uh, I guess, a few minutes ago. For some reason, all my lives are pretty much automatically like sort of flagged for review. Really? Like so many of my lives are like restricted monetization. Like I, for some reason, it just really? seems the default to restricted monetization. Interesting. Interesting. <laughs> Is he ever okay? What a sad life. The deep V. <laughs> Uh, I want to know about the, the bill to the villa, the villa bill. That's all I care about. I haven't seen that anywhere though. All right. Should we move on to Amber guys? Watch Amber Lynn's newest video. Amber Lynn queen. Pete's and S jam need to date. What? <laughs> That's a random sitch type deal. Can you do an impression of Natter telling Beats to prepare his bag? Get my bags. Get my bags. What's the email drama? So the email drama, you have to go back to the beginning, girl. Like, uh, Missy Moo claimed that Chantal emailed her mother, threatening her. Hello. Our favorite little narcissistic goddess. Foodie mentioned she was being chased for money for the villa. What? It only makes sense. I mean, they completely trashed it, right? So this is the beginning. Nikki, thank you for the super chat. I heard it in Monty's live. Someone said he talked about it in a recent live stream. 
I don't watch Pete's, so I don't know which one. Ooh, thank you for the super chat, Nikki. That's a lot of content to sift sift through. <laughs> but now I want to go find it. Thank you, Nikki. You're not getting notifications anymore. What the heck? Good morning. I literally just woke up. I have my earbud in because I do that while doing everything. Um, <laughs> but I did just wake up. I just want to like automatically uh, before I shower, get ready for the day, whatever it may be, just like automatically tell you guys thank you so much for the support and the sweet compliments on my hair. You guys are so amazing. Like literally, <laughs> my hair's looking a mess right now because you guys know like yesterday was... You know the hair is giving 2019 vibes. You guys already know. My video was a lot of um, hair talk and I also just want to say um, thank you guys so much on like being proud that I no longer let like take out control me. Um, only having it twice in a month is so amazing. I'm not trying to like get rid of takeout. That's not like a goal. Um, my original goal was just to have takeout. Oh gosh, guys, I'm already like dead bored. <laughs> okay, so she's not going to have takeout ever again. Uh, no, she had takeout two times this month. That was her like thing that she was hiding. A few times a week. Because um, that is actually what I talked about with my dietitian is just a couple to a few times a week instead of. I like that lunch lady bun. A few times a day, like, ma'am. But I don't know. It's so weird. Like, something... <laughs> I have a story time I have to tell you guys, actually. Um, something happened to me. Um, it was about a month ago. And I still, like... Oh, this is good. This is good. I haven't wholeheartedly been able to process it myself. It was kind of scary. Something scary, something wild, something messy happened to her, but she's not going to say what it is. And I know that, like, there's a lot of different types of people watching me. I'm sorry, I'm super fuzzy right now, but don't worry. I'm going to shower and change. But And some of the people watching me, um, they don't have my best interests at heart, but we don't care about those people. We don't care about those people no more. Um, I'm here for you guys. This she's done with the haters, guys. What if someone says another baked good? <laughs> I can't with the lady that came forward about the baked goods and i love you guys so freaking much and i feel like make a video i hope the girl that sent the baked goods makes a video that could be interesting this is a story time that i need to say and need to share um even though it is embarrassing it is very embarrassing um and it's scary but i'm not gonna share it in today's video because what do you guys think happened did she have another fall what happened what is she hiding from us again <laughs> I did see that Amber wants all true crime channels to be demonetized. I saw that on her Instagram. What the hell is that about? I, it's on apathetic facts. Let me bring that up because that's very interesting tea. <laughs> but what? Like, why? Yeah, here we go. Apathetic facts unpopular opinion i don't think true crime youtubers should be allowed to monetize their videos i have a whole laundry list of reasons why but i don't feel like getting into it right now regardless the content itself is definitely entertaining i've always been interested in true crime why i don't understand this what is her reasoning for that i hate this like double standard between like legacy media and youtubers like we're not allowed to talk about true crime but, you know, all these cable channels have been doing that for years and making tons and tons of money off of it. People put a lot of time and a lot of research into their videos, uh, a lot more time than Amber puts into hers. And there's a tasteful way to do it. And I do believe there is a distasteful way to do it. But, but uh, you know, who am I to say? That's just subjective, right? If it's tasteful or not. But that's just ridiculous. <laughs> I, I don't know if I'm ready. I don't know if I'm ready. Um, it took me a little bit actually to even tell the closest people to me. So, um, yeah. See, Feline already knew because she was actually physically there when it happened. But we'll get there. So, um, something happened about a month ago, and like, what could it be? Did she fall again? Just my thoughts about life have, have changed a lot. Um, I'm just so grateful to be alive. But I'm like, why do I need to take out a few times a week? If takeout is triggering for me, I've naturally just like... 
So she had like an epiphany moment. Like it said that her, her it increased her will to live. Like that sounds like an epiphany moment. Stopped it. <laughs> it has been such a good feeling. And I don't know, I just feel really good. Like it's not a goal to not like ever have takeout. So the fact that I've only had it like two times this month is just like- What if she like saw God? Like what if she, you know how people have like those moments where like this is the moment that I knew like God exists and he like spoke to me and he came to me. <laughs> what if that's what she had? Like an epiphany moment. Because of me. It's something that I've chosen. And you guys are so sweet and hyping me up. Like, yeah. Or what if it was, she thought it was a fart, but it was actually- you know what I mean? Yes, that is the positivity that I need. <laughs> oh, so, God. Thank you so much for having me up. I'm going to go shower. Okay, so I will I, see you guys. I, Sorry, I, I'm just like so excited. They gave me two chips, although I asked for an apple, but that's okay. You guys are so awesome, and you guys are being so sweet, and I just appreciate it. Alrighty, so we are showered and ready for the day. And my Yeah, imagine if Amber had like her little Christian arc or something. Here is feeling better enough for me to wear earrings so I'm wearing these like sparkly ones that say Barbie because my shirt also says Barbie I love, I love the Barbie shirt Barbie things I just think the aesthetic's super cute has anyone seen the movie yet um I don't know like the movie doesn't it doesn't come out until July sweetie it doesn't really interest me but let me know if it was good or not okay so I was in the middle what let me know if it, was, it doesn't come out until July putting away the good old dishes by the <laughs> way these are Maybe she pre-recorded this and she thought that it wouldn't go up until July. <laughs> she was going to save this one till July, but then decided not to. Or LOL. The ones we got from TJ Maxx. They were like, how much were these, babe? Like 20 each? What was it? The uh, pots. Oh, those pans. look like some nice pans. Oh, like 16 or 17, oh, like 16 or 17 each. Um, okay. Not that bad. And these are the best ones that I've ever had. Um, the brand is Castco. And this one is True Craft. And when you I like the design on the bottom. Stick, they mean it. So definitely go to TJ Maxx and get you that. I've had some questions about Yeah, but girl, like the problem with TJ Maxx is like they all have different shit. Yeah, you might find some of the same stuff, but the corkscrew. You guys, I have not drank in 13 months. And I'm very proud of that accomplishment. The last time she drank was when she did that live stream, I believe. Because Alcohol serves me in zero ways. I don't like it. Don't crave it. Don't want it. But we well, went yeah, I would agree with that for her market. And we got an oil that had a cork on it. Plus, Feline actually uses this and this for packages. She like opens it with packages. And I was like, you know what? That is a smart idea. I would have never thought of that. And I just wash everything that it's kind of yucky, though. Um, is used. So that's why you guys saw me washing it. I do not drink. All right, you guys. So I am cooking dinner for Feline and I. I am making these like Fiesta flats. It's like, oh, it's like the TikTok tacos. A flat bottom taco shell. I don't. <laughs> Did you guys see these? They're on like TikTok. They're doing like the flat tacos. She's in there laughing at me. Um. So for the most part, uh, the meat will be the she same. She looks like Patrick Star, like the makeup guru or spongebob's friend um i do add some corn in it i saw b loves life do that when she was making tacos and i was like yes so B -loves. that's what i do now and the only thing that i do differently um, is amber still watching mukbangs where i'm gonna have to separate the meat at the end is i like to put some salsa in it uh towards the end of the meat being cooked you guys yeah it just changes everything it's so good um and feline doesn't really like salsa on her tacos and such or her Fiesta Flats. <laughs> I've never done this before, so we'll see. Um, there's also going to be some refried beans. Um, I have my big bag of corn because I've been obsessed lately. But I'm just going to use some, like, taco seasoning and some... Obsessed with corn? Like, what? Regular, corn. regular stuff. And obviously some jalapeno peppers will be going on there. Um, I would salsa. be using some onion, but unfortunately... Fiesta, salsa, quinceanera, baila. We do not have any, but that is fine. So I'm about to make the dinner and I'll show you guys when it's done. Okay, so it is time to make my plate here. So I'm gonna have two of these. I'm gonna do a layer. Okay, those are kind of legit though. Beans. I kind of want to try these. I kind of want to do this. And it's like a big meat. chip. It's just like a big chip. Oh my gosh, this looks and smells 
delicious. This is one of them things that I just kind of put together. Like I wish I had a little bit of like shredded lettuce. And then I'm gonna add some jalapeno. Whoops, she fell. How does Amber make it look bad? Like, let's hope he doesn't. Let me fix her up here. It's just a taco. And but now last for some reason, it just looks horrible. Not least. Okay, she doesn't want to sit up, so it's fine. She's lazy. Oh god. Add a little bit of cheese on top of both. Like, how how did she go wrong? Is so it here's taco? My dinner. <laughs> this looks incredible. So let's do it. Yes, taco boats. Literally, it's like a boat. It's a taco boat. It's a cucumber boat. Taste test. This might be messy. I have a feeling it's going to be. Girl, you need mm. Jesus. Oh, is it baby? So good. Is that <laughs> yes, I hope you like it. No, I like it. You always I like what you cook. Of course, she had to pick like the eating. Uh, thumbnail where she's eating the taco. Luca, thank you for the super chat. Yes, Fiesta Flat Revolutionary Girl. Is it? <laughs> thank you, Luca. Always like my cook. I was about to say that. <laughs> I'm being dehumanized. In a way. She used sour cream on hers. But I don't want it. So I'm about to go enjoy this. Okay, so I'm about to just... Put my hair it's incredible. In a pony. I'm actually listening to the H3 podcast right now. Lies. Because that was like my fave. Like they're just quality. Quality content. My humble opinion. Oh my god. Can H3 have her on? Come on, Ethan. Have her on. Look the same as I always do. A cutie. I feel like I look cute today. You know, I have some very, very low self-esteem. Like, I'm not... Do you guys think Ethan would have her on? Uh, I don't know. I not lie. But there might be a day or two out of the year where I forget about my flaws. To talk about the flat earth. <laughs> Amber's a flat earther. And I enhance the things that I like. She also doesn't think that the moon landing happened. About myself, such as my hair and my makeup. And it. my, you know, facial features. I really like my eyes and my nose. And there's nothing wrong with that. So today, she's feeling cute. And I always feel good in the shirt. I always feel good when my makeup looks good. So, you know what? I'm thriving. Never let anyone dull your sparkle. Okay. And my sparkle is sparkling today. Hey, okay, guys. Dull your sparkle. Okay, she's going to do a taste test. Sweet taste test for us. So, I wanted to try these. I already opened them because I was about to. What would they talk about? Uh, I guess just Amberlynn's life on YouTube. Like, I guess that's what they would talk about, right? And like the hate and blah, blah, blah. This, that, this, that, the other. Try them. But I was like, you know what? I want to vlog it. So these are the Smart Sweets, which I've had other ones before. Like the peach rings. Not so good. Um, It is like. Not so smart. Nighttime. So we're we're kind of feeling the night vibe. Sure oh, yeah. She said Stevie Wonder was not really blind. I remember that. That was like, what? Why is she going after Stevie Wonder? Like, that doesn't even make sense. Girl. Pick your battles wisely. I tell with the lighting. But um, so this only has one gram of sugar. Um, And I noticed when I opened it that they're all like individual, like wrapped. The peach rings, which I've had before, is not like that. Um, so yeah, this has no, like, uh, no sugar, sugar alcohols or anything like that. Thank you, Rach, for the super chat. The look the same as I always do is Zachary Michael shade. I didn't catch that. I did see a couple of other people say that as well, though. Thank you, Rach. Welcome. H3 is trying to get Nick Akato on. Yeah, remember, uh, he was supposed to go on. But then something happened that plant-based no artificial sweeteners this is just to help kick the sugar but keep the candy that's like their slogan it even says it kick in the, the sugar so um i haven't really been having sweets or anything like that sugar sugar how'd you get so fly <laughs> um i do have like an atkins like those little like peanut butter chocolate things um here and there but i love caramel have you guys had these do you like them so i was like you know i always see them at the store but like they're pretty expensive right what so it looks like this i'm just a little nervous because like that for the lack of a better term like fake sugary taste i'm not 100 percent into it so let's give it a try suck on it wait i'm shocked mm. 
Oh, this is the moment, guys. This is the moment. New sound bite. So chewy. This is something I'm gonna suck on. <laughs> so chewy. This is something I'm gonna suck on. <laughs> this is so chewy. This is something I'm gonna suck on. Oh my god, if someone handed this to me. One more time. So chewy. This is something I'm gonna suck on. <laughs> this is so chewy. Oh my god, if someone handed this to me. 10 out of 10, girl. I would have no idea that there was only one sugar with no sugar alcohol. It tastes like a normal caramel, and I love caramel. Oh my god, this is a keeper. Okay, 10 out of 10 recommend. This is a troll. If you guys think that I'm trolling in 2023, that's because you want me to be. Get you guys this. No. I know there's um other ones too. There's like a watermelon moment. Or maybe it's just like filler content. Um, I think there's like a candy fish or whatever. What do you guys think? Troll or filler? Both. Troll filler. Oh, but the caramel. Wow. That's some good stuff. And the whole pack is one serving. So it's pretty neat. I might have another. And then be pretty done with it. Because I feel like eating the whole pack is kind of like triggering to me. But <laughs> I like how she makes a joke out of it. If somebody else made that joke, she would be so pissed. It's like triggering. Another. And then be done with it. Because I feel like it's eating like the whole pack is kind of like triggering to me. But <laughs> Uh, trigger warning. Uh, trigger warning. Is this old or new? <laughs> this is like brand new. It just came out yesterday. Welcome, AA. I'd have another and then be done with it because I feel like eating the whole pack is kind of like triggering, triggering to me. But that's good. Kind of like triggering. Hey, you guys, I'm sorry for the short vlog, but I am going to end it here. I hope that you enjoyed it and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. See you, girl. Like, what? What was that vlog? It kind of gave me like old school Amber vlogs. I mean, she starts in the bathroom. Then we get to see her in the kitchen. Then we get to see her making some food. And it's like a taco boat. And then we're back in the bathroom and she's sharing like some, some of her problems with the audience or blah, blah, blah. And then we ended off with a taste test. Pretty triggering. <laughs> not triggering but it reminds me of 20 night uh 2019 excuse me guys give me a second guys <laughs> no, I was not getting sick. No, I wasn't getting sick, guys. I just had to blow my nose. Uh, he just had to cry. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> New foodie mukbang, really? Is there? I did want to take a look at some tabloids.
Can you guys still hear me? Okay, there's a new mukbang from Foodie. Come through, Foodie. Is that where everybody went to check out her new mukbang? Hello, Foodie Beauties. <laughs> hey, guys, hey, guys, hey, guys, hey, hey, hey. That's that old girl. Hey, hey. I'm trying to keep this sleeve up. Hello. Hello. <laughs> All right. Let's... Hi, how are you? Welcome to the classroom. Do this. I have a straw. Shrimp. Very interesting, I know. <laughs> I'm weird today. I'm hyper. Shrimp gate. You're gonna get it. When I'm hyper, you all suffer. Including my husband. No. Oh. Oh well. Still works. Wait, does it? I got Sprite, by the way. I was hoping she would just buy like an entire shrimp ring and then give us a lecture about how, you know, it's okay for fat people to eat on camera because they just have to. Oh, I did like it mud flat. It's not bendy anymore, but whatever. Bendy straws are overrated. So today I'm trying a new place I've never tried before, but it's pretty popular here in Kuwait. It's called Shrimpy. Shrimpy. Shrimpy? If you can guess by the name, it's shrimp. Oh, wait, that's a restaurant in Kuwait. You get fried shrimp. It looks like Long John Silver's. Is that what they're trying to do? Like, copy the vibe of Long John Silver's? <laughs> Seafood. That's what it looks like, right? Chicken sandwiches, but fried shrimp. Like, stuff like that. Fried fish. So I'm going to open this. I love a good Popeye's tackle box. Tear it up, tear it up, tear it up. Yeah. Okay, here we go. First time trying shrimpy, but I do love fried shrimp. So let's see if we can make this look like a nice mukbang. I like red lobster fried shrimp. Especially since I need a thumbnail to make you guys hungry and want Coconut to watch this. shrimp. And so far, I'm failing miserably. <laughs> okay. Come on. Oh, she's actually going to try to make it presentable for us. You know, you could do like a plate. I don't know. I'm just saying there is a thing got a plate. Aesthetics people for us content creators. Let's put some lemon. Okay. Just wait. Let me set this up. Some like it hot. It's not really aesthetic. I mean, it's just sitting there on like a, what, a piece of paper. Yeah, I prefer my food hot. So this is. Who doesn't? Messy looking. Oh my gosh, this looks messy. Wait, what is that? Thank you, skinny legend supermodel for the super chat. Does anyone else kind of feel weird slash bad about her doing these mukbangs? I feel like she's going to continue to gain weight and be alone all the time. Thank you, skinny legend. Now, I don't necessarily feel bad for her, but I do feel like there's something more going on here. Like she is eating away the pain. Um... It's perhaps she knows that she needs to make a certain amount to please Salah. So that's why she's pumping out these mukbangs. And it's just easy her. It's just easier for her to do mukbangs because you never really run out of ideas. There's always going to be something to eat. So I do sense that air of like sadness and it does feel a little weird and off. What do you guys think? Thank you, skinny. Hold on. Shrimp fries. Shrimp fries. Ew. Yes. Shrimp Ew. fries. Shrimp fries? I'm going to put that there for now. So it has like some kind of sauce, fries, cheese, peppers, grilled peppers, onions, and shrimp. Okay, the sauce. Hmm. Oh, it's like, a, it's like a poutine. Oh my gosh, I'm making a mess already. I can't. This is already messy. All right, so we have some shrimp. We have some tartar, beetroot tartar sauce. Put sin. Coleslaw, yay. Put sin. What's in this little care package from Shrimpy? Napkins, appreciate that. A spork, okay. One thing of Heinz ketchup. Tartar sauce. And Shrimpy tartar sauce. I got some extras, okay. by the way. Um, and coleslaw. She seems a little bit happier to be here today. I mean, usually it's like she doesn't even want to be there. 
She doesn't even want to be there. Like she would rather be doing literally anything else, um, which by anything else, enjoying her meal by herself, not on camera. My baya is getting in my food. Yay. All right, guys. Bismillah. Let's try this coleslaw first. Bismillah. I'm a coleslaw connoisseur. Beauty bite. Beauty bite. Mm. Mm. Just a light snack. <laughs> Tastes like KFC coleslaw. Very legit. She does seem kind of sad, right? Like, what's the deal here? Does she even want to be doing these videos? Is Salah like forcing her to eat mukbangs? Babe, you have to do a mukbang. It has ice. Or we can't pair. All right, it. let's try these fries. They have shrimp. They have like non-battered shrimp in them. Let's see. It is a little bit strange when you think about it. Like they're a married couple that allegedly lives together. And she's spending so much of her time making these eating videos. Like, wouldn't they want to enjoy a meal like this together? Mm, I can smell the grilled onions. Beauty bite. Yeah, that's a good point, Martina. She hasn't had takeout in two videos, so she's excited. Mm hmm. Salah wouldn't pick up her other. <laughs> Salah wouldn't pick up her other takeout meals, so she had to cook. Oh, the horror. Just Jamie, thank you for the super chat. Never thought of this. Do other Muslims mukbang? Mm, I don't. I don't know if I've ever seen. Maybe I, I, that's something I kind of have to look into. I don't know. Mmm. Oh wow. That's so good. No way. <gasps> Oh, yes. Let me write that oh, down. Yes. Do Muslims mukbang? I don't think so. <laughs> mm. But it's like you either get it or you don't, you know? Okay, now let's try a shrimp. A shrimpy shrimp. What do they mean beetroot tartar sauce? I don't see any beetroot. Beauty bite. Mm. Tastes like filet of fish sauce. I love tartar. Oh, they are so cute. Bunny goodness. Wait, let me show you guys. Mm. I found some cuties. Look. It's not, like, it's not like juicy. They're muck banging. You know how people make it out on camera? Like, mm, yeah, like, like, <sighs> like that. Okay, they don't do that, but it's just they seem not cool. as that's what they make it out to. Uh -huh. I don't know what I expected, but I didn't expect this, man. <laughs> Seafood boil. You really do need the gloves for that. It's a mess, but it's so good. So, you're probably wondering what hey, the heck I'm wearing on my head. This is just throw anything on. <laughs> because I'm lazy. No. <laughs> I'm trying I a do new have style. to wonder. She's trying a new style. Where? Oh, you watch them? I feel like wearing a cap today. They seem cool. <clears throat> no. British. This is my late night mukbang. Look. <laughs> That's what Chantal thinks she looks like. <laughs> How she views herself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What country are they from? I think they're from Britain. Just by the accent. Like sport. Mm. Okay. I love fried shrimp. I can see why they're popular. Anything fried is good. Is good. I'm kind of nervous to try this. 
The bun is fresh. <laughs> this is just her devouring a thousand calories in 18 minutes. I mean, 2,000. So, yeah. No, Amy. I never thought that this is where we would be, like in the foodie verse a few years back like or during the natter saga if someone said in two years she'll be in kuwait like married in kuwait allegedly married in kuwait i wouldn't believe you there's just something about fountain sprite that just hits different than bottle or can i think bottle soda is like the least the plastic bottle soda glass Bottle soda? When I lived in... No, cans is the worst. The East Coast, the Maritimes in Canada. They're really big on recycling. Um, and now you don't. The... Um, the soda came in glass bottles. The soda just feels more crisp and cold. I don't know. When it comes in glass bottles. <laughs> you know what I mean? I can't explain it. Girl, Eric Cook. So the food is cares. amazing from this place, but it could have more. Like, I'm going to still be hungry after this. <sighs> it could have more. I'm going to still be hungry. Girl, that's not enough. Mm. It's like two meals. The tartar sauce is a bit different than McDonald's one. It tastes exactly the same, except... It has like an oniony taste. To oh it. yeah, the filet of fish. I was like, McDonald's has tartar sauce, but then I remembered filet of fish. I actually kind of like the filet of fish. Take one of the buns off, and then that's like a skinny hack. Or take both buns mm. off. Or just don't order a bun. <laughs> so good. My sleep keeps going up, driving me nuts. Mm. Shrimp. Does she finish it? Yeah, of course she does. Anyway. So for those of you that, you know, one of the rumors that, or one of the things that Missy is claiming that Salah told her is that he was upset with her for spending so much money on food. Like they just didn't have the money to feed her. Like it was just becoming too much. Overwhelming. Food's expensive. It really is adds up quickly i've been cooking salah's given up admittedly it does seem as though salah has checked out i mean he wasn't in their her live stream was he let's go ahead and skim through the live stream from earlier today because i just want to see did he sh did he make an appearance I no so salah wasn't in her live stream today at all i do think that he has most likely checked out, like, just do your thing. I don't really want anything to do with this. It's too much bullshit, too much drama. You know what I mean? It's just all horseshit. I was like, I cook for a few days. And then I get tired of it. Double shrimp. Maybe they were in love and they were killed when they were in love. Aww. I cook for a couple of days, then I get tired of it. What do you mean? Like, some people cook every single day because, you know, you have to eat. They're immortalized. In an that looks like a little duck. Face. And I'm about to dip them in tartar. That's sad. Mm. Oh, she was talking to him? Off, off camera. Yeah, he's just not appearing on camera anymore. Mm. What even is this? Like, she's not... She's giving us absolutely nothing, guys. It's just feeder fodder. I mean, maybe that's who it's for. If, if that's who it's for, then she should just admit that because maybe people just wouldn't waste their time anymore. So crunchy. It's feeder fodder. It's 100% feeder mm. fodder. 
I know that you people are worried, or some of you are worried that my husband doesn't eat. Because <laughs> I always like, where's your husband's food? Yeah, right? She made all that lasagna and he didn't even get a bite. He eats in another room. Because Isn't that strange? He's not in the mukbangs, right? Maybe. Why not do like a couple's mukbang? I don't even want to see that, to be honest. Hey, Helena. Hey, hey, Helena Lifts. Welcome to Sugars. We've got a new girl. Welcome. New girl. Someday he will do the odd one, but he doesn't, for the most part, like to eat on camera, really. The mukbangs are my thing. We do things on the couple's channel together. Listen to that. She's adding in those little moans because she's been watching Hungry. She's been watching Hungry Fat Chick and she's trying to copy her. Listen to that like little moan. We do things on the couple's channel together. She's copying Candy. What if she just like added mo moans in post? You know, they do that with, like, adult movies sometimes. They'll just add it in post-production. <laughs> so. It's kind of hard juggling multiple channels, but it's fun. One good channel is better than three bad ones. I mean. What happened to the ASMR channel? We're going to do things together anyway. Might as well film it. You're going to eat anyway, so you might as well film it. Look at that. What was that? What was that? I'm going to eat anyway. Might as well film it. Can you imagine giving this little of a crap about your own body? I'm a trendsetter. <laughs> I don't think this will be a trend anytime soon. It's not <laughs> supposed to be. Like, what? It's a religious custom. It's not supposed to be a trend. Like, what is she talking about? I should start a hijab company. I say it like it's just like taking out the garbage or something. I should take out the garbage. No. You don't even do that. <laughs> you don't even do that. I'm too lazy to own a business, I think. Mm, 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 mm. At least she admits that. Remember, she was supposed to do a cannabis business. Um, she was going to sell, like, paraphernalia with, like, foodie logos on it and shit. <laughs> like, you know, like a grinder with her logo. Grinder. <laughs> Not that grinder. <laughs> I don't know what kind of sauce this is. It's like a... Almost like a cage, creamy Cajun. Oh my gosh, it's so satisfying to like put the buds in the grinder and like, oh, so satisfying. But it's not spicy. Mm. I love the fries. <laughs> so many moans in this video. These sleeves? I swear. These sleeves, I swear. Yum. Mm. Mm. Anyway. I was mm. like, I want to order something. You want to order Another something? Couple. But I want to try something different. Everyone go yeah. ahead and leave a like on the video. Don't forget. We're doing some hard work over here. I've been in a while. <clears throat> she wants to be Jeffree Star. Yeah, that's what I was thinking about, right? His grinder with the Jeffree Star logo. Oh, that's tangy. Is shrimp haram? Is it? I don't think so. So I thought it was the perfect opportunity. Let's just look it up. No misinformation. Is shrimp haram? Oh shit, look. 
Muslims should avoid eating prawns. They are not fish. Interesting. Hmm. They are acceptable. I guess they're acceptable. These fries are so good. Mm. It comes with normal fries, but there's always a choice mm. to upgrade to something like cheesy fries or loaded fries in Canada. Oh, yeah, I get the it. The upgrade choice was usually like onion rings or puts in. Here's like cheesy or spicy fries. Yeah, you get the regular side or the premium sides. Gotta go for the premium sides, right? I upgrade most of the time. <laughs> She's a brat. Because the same sides get boring. That's my only complaint with McDonald's. <laughs> That's my only complaint to McDonald's, really? It's McDonald's. Like, you know what you're going to get. You only have fries. Have something else. You could get apples. Actually, here they have masa sticks. I have to try those. Mm. Can you imagine her getting the apples at McDonald's? <laughs> I could eat another one of these. <laughs> Apple slices. Easily. She could easily eat another one. For sure. American girl. American girl. American girl. Joined pair. Yeah. Sorry. This was literally just like fodder. You know, you know, somebody out there is pleasuring themselves. To the That's sick. That is sick. Mm. I ate the whole thing. I don't usually have the problem of not finishing my food, so. I always got dessert. <laughs> um, all right, my review. Portions are too small. <laughs> no, they're probably normal portions, but. Um, was actually very, very, very delicious. Something was spicy, like after spice. I think the tartar sauce. Oh yeah, I forgot I ordered spicy tartar sauce. That was good. The shrimp was not soggy. Like I was afraid ordering shrimp, <laughs> fried shrimp, it would be soggy by the time. Just do it on OF. I got here, but. She can't do OF, the that's how I'm. You see more like a, like a breadcrumb or panko or something. So it wasn't actually soggy. Isn't Breezy doing OnlyFans? Delicious. And they have like grilled shrimp and onions and peppers on the fries. With like that creamy sauce. I don't think there was cheese actually. Just the creamy sauce. Like Cajun sauce. <sighs> Delicious. Very satisfying meal. Except that it could have been doubled. <laughs> anyway. I think you guys. Is that a troll or is she for real? Is sincerely for watching me eat. I hope you're eating something with me. And uh. I'm not. Yeah. I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Thanks for watching. Simply having a wonderful Christmas time. Another extremely interesting video. <laughs> that was pretty generic, right? Like she just sat down and ate the food. It certainly wasn't clickbait because that's all you got really, huh? You know, she doesn't play when it comes to food. Mm-hmm. Sh shrimpy fried shrimp and shrimp fries mug <laughs> how many shrimp are we gonna have in that title girl you wonder um if salah knew i mean he did know right he knew what he was getting into i mean there was so much content out there to research <laughs> do you think that salah did his research looking into her on the internet and the things that she's been doing for the past few years um, he's definitely seen like the adult content because people have just circulated that, you know, I think that even Alasha Beeb saw the adult, adult content. Oof.
So let's go ahead and do, we're going to do our tabloid update and then we're going to call it a night. Um, I did want to show you guys this shocking news from Mama June. I shared this on Twitter, so you guys might already know what I mean. But Mama June was recently in the tabloids um, for a very strange thing. Mm, here it is. So here's what happened. This is from the Daily Mail. There's so many ads. Mama June reveals to DailyMail.com her bitter regret blowing more than a million dollars on Coca-Cola while battling years-long addiction that nearly destroyed her family. Mm -mm -mm. So I was just like shook by the fact that she literally spent a million dollars. I think this goes to show you like that thing, money can't buy you. I don't know if I want to say like class, but <laughs> no. Her sushi mukbang. Not money can't buy you class, but you know, when you give someone someone money that never really had it like that, they're going to blow through it. And we've seen that happen time and time again with people that have come up. Maybe it's in like the music space or sports or something, and they just don't know how to handle. I don't know how, I don't know if like I would be able to handle it. I mean, here's like millions and millions of dollars. How are you going to spend it? Will you be able to, um, you know, keep track of that? Like you need to get an accountant or something you know, to manage it for you. Yeah, Mama June went downhill. I remember watching her like back in maybe like 2013, 14. And it was funny. Like, obviously, it was like trashy. That was like the point. But it was like funny and kind of like endearing. But then it got really gross when Mama June like uh, what she did was she invited one of her daughter's like abusers like she started dating one of her daughter's abusers like and then invited him to the house like ugh. that's when TLC canceled their show hungry fat chick sushi mukbang is it worth watching Yeah, and her daughter Anna has stage four cancer. Yeah, we did talk about that like a couple of weeks ago. Um, let's go ahead and check out the slate and tabloids real quick. I like to do the slate and tabloid segment. I don't know if there's anything that interesting though. I mean, it might be a slow news week for the Slaytons. <laughs> she was more into men than her kids. That's not really that uncommon of a thing, unfortunately. Like, you see these kinds of things happen all the time. Tammy has a new boyfriend, guys. Check this out. In Touch exclusive. Does Tammy have a new boyfriend amid Caleb Willingham breakup rumors? Yeah, so we did report that she broke up with her man's, her Caleb is this her new guy? They're alleging this is her new guy, I guess. Um, hmm. Greg Morgan, an Indianapolis resident, tells In Touch. <laughs> Tune in next season. You might get what you're waiting for. About whether he, whether or not he and Tammy are a couple. Oh, oh, they talked directly to this guy, but he's staying hush hush. That kind of tells me like, yeah, something is going on here, right? Because why else would you say, you know, tune in? Because they probably have like gag orders, <laughs> not gag orders, but NDAs. <laughs> Where's your man? She does have a really active romantic life, doesn't she? So Greg and Tammy met on a dating app amid rumored separation from husband. Oh my gosh, she's already on to another man. What? Greg has met members of Tammy's family. This guy's a TikTok creator. Interesting, interesting. 
Well, I'm definitely looking forward to following along with this relationship. <laughs> Who is the person they're asking? They asked Greg. Yeah, the Indianapolis resident was Greg, her supposed new man. Allegedly. My conspiracy. New man. What else is going on in the slate and verse? I know our girls have no problems. Oh, look, she she uh confirmed it. Oh, shit, guys, she confirmed it. Tammy Slayton, yup, I have a new boyfriend. Dang, she moves on quick. She's moving better than ever. <laughs> wow. That's great. She's dating a TikTok user named Greg Morgan. Hmm. I guess it's confirmed, guys. Wow. She moves on quicker than anybody else. Do you want to check out HFC? Yeah, we could check out HFC really quickly, but I'm going to get off pretty soon. Yeah, this video is an hour. Like, there's just no way. We can watch like a couple minutes, I guess. <laughs> this is special sushi YA special crunch rolls. Was there something interesting about this? I'm gonna eat the soy sauce and the napkin from this one. Oh! This is my fresh wasabi. Wow, look at that spread. It's almost like she was at a buffet or something. TikTok user. <laughs> oh, she's got the bubble tea in a can. It never tastes that good. Where's Destiny? Uh, Destiny, mm -hmm. we need part two now. now. Just bear with me, please. Mango. Tea. Oh, that's not gonna work. Why am I such a mess? <laughs> okay. Now this wasabi right here, I should use my chopsticks. Yeah, it took like 20 minutes. It's 20 minutes of her setting up, really. Oh, dang. It really did take 20 minutes for her to set up, didn't it? Let's see if we can figure out the similarities between her and Foodie. Mm. Mm. Like, is Foodie copying Hungry? Man. Was she taking the tails off? <laughs> well, I hardly know shrimp in that. Yeah, she always have, has two drinks. Every single time, two drinks, two drinks. She should collab with Foodie. She's too good for that. I think I should just eat the shell. But I don't want to eat the shell. Oh, Lord. Mm. An hour of eating sushi. <laughs> I'm kind of dead. I hope y'all are doing well. I'm doing great. <laughs> I'm doing, I'm doing pretty good, I guess. I say great. I say pretty good. I don't know how the hell I'm doing. <laughs> you think foodie's getting requests? Oh, that's Where are they requesting? The, all the pieces. Do you think foodie has like a Phoebe? Mm. It's a feeder dating app. Mm. <laughs> mm. Mm. It's just too much. Mm. It's too much. These are so good. I got the crab meat in them. Mm. I like a good sushi moment as much as the next girl, but shrimp. The mm. moans get the money. Mm. Yummy. Mm. I want to get like some good sushi oh. like that. Usually I get like the grocery store sushi, which isn't really that bad. It's not as bad as it sounds. They really have like a chef in there cooking it. So that one's going to last. It okay. doesn't go on any, it doesn't go on a truck. Ooh, that's a lot of sriracha. 
うんうん I just don't get that much pleasure, you know? It's hyper palatable. It's so pleasurable. It's hyper palatable. It's so pleasurable. You're like that when you eat canes? Oh, yeah, with the cane sauce and the chicken fingers. Oh. Mm. Oh, yeah. No, 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 no. The wise is sushi. No, you can't get that much flap. Um, giant or Wegmans. I never tried Whole Foods, but that sounds like it would be good too. Yeah, giant or Wegmans. No wise is sushi. It's gross. It's mm. a lot of fresh wasabi. That's gonna burn my nose. Ooh, the sriracha got me a little bit in the back Another of the Another slow jam. Mmm. This is too much. Let's do an SGM update and then call it a night, guys. Live, no frills. Oh, he's out and about, like, driving and stuff. Soundbite your canes, ma. What did he go to Walmart? It's a large one. It's a little stronger than these ones. Is he okay to be driving? But we could work with this too. I wanted a new cup. He doesn't seem to be like yep, last, Pepsi. or not last night, really but he doesn't seem to be like the other night. Is he? It took me like three minutes just to get it full without it overflowing so hoping that means it's good and carbonated they're not bad on carbonation they're bad on the flavor sometimes but it looks normal looks like pepsi pepsi is he okay i can't really tell i mean that's kind of how he is sober a little monotone. Yeah, he looks like he's going through it, though. Apple, Apple drink. drink? What the fuck is that? <laughs> I don't trust anything that's called, like, grape drink or apple drink or orange drink. No. No, 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 no. Don't trust that. I don't trust that. So I need to move this fridge out and clean underneath it so that they can come right in. She told me to have everything in my fridge in bags. What? So if I'm not here, she'll just pull all the bags out and throw them in the new fridge. Oh, he's getting a new fridge? But I'll probably be here, so. Where else would you be, SGM? I can see the other stuff, that other stuff in the fridge too, actually. <laughs> Uh, trigger warning. Yeah, the brand is called No Name. Is that supposed to be like a joke? <laughs> is that part of the joke? It just went over my head. <laughs> Live in La Vida Loca. For the hamburgers. And SGM does like old school foodie content. Honestly, like this reminds me of Foodie in the Villa. Like he went out to Walmart. He went, got some food in the beginning or at least a Pepsi. <laughs> it's like old school foodie content. Chicken burgers that I bought. I don't know if I showed you guys, but I just put the stuff in the freezer. Do you guys want me to do a my... segment about SGM? I need to do a little bit more research. No name or great value pizza stuff. And the current going on. So current going on. You got some baby carrots. No frills. Where's the dips? Oh, damn, that's about empty. Ah, 
probably get through the bag on that. I don't need a ton. He's the new foodie. I know I did a video called The Male Foodie Beauty. And yeah, watch that video. It's about SGM. It's the only SGM video I've ever done. A little bit's good. You want a segment? You know nothing about him? Well, if you know nothing about him, um, like I said, I have a video called The Male Foodie Beauty. <laughs> You could start there, I guess. I mean, I think people are putting out videos about him, right? But did you guys see, like, the microwave meal that he made? It was, like, completely scorched. He almost burned the place down. Return to sender. Return to sender. Great value, Apple Jesus. Do we need an SGM deep dive? Oh, I was gonna get. Oh my gosh, Tito! Thank you, Tito gifted five memberships. Thank you, Tito. Look at our new girls. Bring back my girls. Damn, I use this cream too. That's still mostly full. You saw the frozen meal. Does someone have the frozen meal? Like, does Piggy have that? I feel like they might. It's all a law. Oh, yeah, here it is. Piggy, foodie beauty. Um, Sjam eats a burnt plastic microwave dinner. <laughs> I knew Piggy had this. Let's watch this. Hi. Want some dinner? Oh, looks good. Holy shit. Brownies. Mm. On it. Look at it. Like, what? Did he just place that on top of an active burner? Turn it down. Isn't that plastic? I'm so confused. It must not. Okay, it can't be plastic because then it would just like fall apart everywhere. Right? Who cooks it like that? Isn't that for the microwave? Like, it's a microwave dinner. Like, I don't get it. I just don't get it. And what's it made of? It can't be plastic, right? Or else this wouldn't make sense. <laughs> Not that it does. Ew, yeah, like the chemicals. The chemicals from whatever it is. Like going into the food Ooh. melted the burn melted to the burner okay so it is plastic it is plastic guys i'm surprised it's holding up like as well as it is holding up but like who would ever have that oh <laughs> who would ever have this idea like you would have to be shmai or schmunk Enough of that. No. Turn this up. Oh my goodness, and look at the burner. That's not good. I think people like reached out. People like cow tipped his landlord or something. That's what I heard. Rumor. Alright. Word on the street. A hungry man riblet. We got some mashed potatoes. Ew. A hungry man riblet. That just sounds disgusting. <laughs> we got some corn. What the hell is a, a riblet? Bit of brownie, and then we got a bunch of fried. The pot stickers or pierogies or whatever that is doesn't look doesn't look that bad. Pierogies, which we have more. So that's what we're gonna eat right now. Okay, this one sounds so good. Let's try this riblet. Not a riblet it's a though. Man, so it's not gonna be good quality meat. The landlord called him multiple times, really. <laughs> oh yeah, they called the cops. 
for like a wellness check or something. Them in the oven, but because it was this live stream was like a lot worse than than this clip suggests. Look, chunk of meat, whatever kind of meat it is. Mm. Yeah, it's a cheat meal. Oh. I'm eating my cheat day. Not rude, but. Mm hmm. It's hyper palatable. It's so pleasurable. What is that, ranch? Look at that bite, like it, it, what? That doesn't seem like that's supposed to be the texture. It looks like it's hard as a rock. Like, look at him like tearing into that like a wild animal. Well, maybe not. Maybe we're reaching. Oh, goodness, guys. What did you think about his frozen meal? <laughs> I'm literally dead. <laughs> Getting fancy with the ranch. True that, huh? Yikes, sickles on bicycles. Is it even cooked? Yes, please hit the like button on your way out. Thank you guys so much for joining me tonight. We're going to wind down and head out in just a few moments here. The chicken one was terrifying. It was mayonnaise. That was mayonnaise, really. He got a call on stream, someone being like, we are worried about you. Didn't he put his phone number out there? I think that he, yeah, he accidentally doxed his own phone number. I guess you, would you still call it doxing if you did it to yourself by accident? I guess, I don't know. But anyways, <laughs> all right, you guys, thank you for coming to tonight's live stream. Thank you so much. I hope you guys have a fabulous week and I will, of course, catch you guys very soon. Um, by Tuesday, I'll be back to regularly scheduled programming. So good night, everyone. I hope you guys